Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Get access to games, TV shows, and websites that are locked in your region at expressvpn.com slash achievement. Don't leave me hanging. Michael Jones here, as usual, with Off Topic. I want to tell you, Achievement Hunter is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Jeremy. Yeah, I don't want them seeing what I'm doing. What are you up to? What he's doing is being on Off Topic today, and I was introducing him. That was a perfect segue. We've got Jeremy. We've got Trevor, and Hello. we've got Alfredo. We're getting the chat up. How's the cave, Fredo? It's the brightest cave I've ever seen. Hello. Dude. It sounds terrible. It, I, it fucking eats me inside. I hate it. The thing, is, the thing it. is, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds good, and then there's just too much extra coming in. Roll yeah, no. I, That's it. I wasn't looking I at it. the, the I video. I hate it. I was farting around with stuff when you joined and you started talking and I thought you had a filter on. It sounds like you're in heaven. I've ascended. It's... Yeah, that's what heaven looks like. You just get <laughs> it a, really does. Uh, it sounds epic. Like room. It does, dude. And then, it's like, is it and this? then, and then God puts yeah. the breaker in your room, so you gotta have to deal with that. I like that that piece of art there. Yeah, the that's what are you is, dude, that, I... is that is that a sub? Is that a sub panel? That's not the Ooh. main, is it? Oh uh, I think it is, yeah. It's the only one in the place. Start oh. flipping the whole building Let's, on well, you find out. If Here's the thing. If there's like, a I, big one at the top middle, it's the main. I, I mean, I have, hit a whole, that I have a whole thing. This is my own office. I just moved. I got a bigger place now. Uh, I got my closet where I can put all my tech stuff. My desk, I'm going to push back a little bit. I'm still got a cable manage. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put like a nice like three foot shelf behind me, a long one. I could put all my Ooh. cool like toys and statues. Then I'm going to get some acoustic, like mm -hmm. nice, not foam, acoustic panels. And Ooh. then and then get some right. nice like okay. Mondo posters that I that. have framed finally the thing about this this guy right oh. here this breaker box i was like what are we gonna do with that it's low one of my friends yeah. came up with a good idea just print out the wires from among us slap it on that bad boy that's awesome there you go badass. Oh. <laughs> you know what i was gonna you know what i was gonna suggest you just uh unscrew the cover take it off seal it up yeah, just drywall it in. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you don't. Yeah, you don't need it. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I already needed it once already. You don't. Oh, well, you got to get well, it out of the way. Yeah, but you fixed well. it. It's fixed. Mm -hmm. You fixed it, dude. You know. Sounds like terrible ideas. Yeah, we got to get a rug in here, but uh, two to four weeks for the rugs. My. Yeah. Ooh, my suggestion was hang some T-shirts behind you. Yeah, just throw some merch around. <laughs> That's well. I mean, Trevor came That's in true. like a businessman. I said T-shirts, <laughs> and he went right to merch. Okay, um, I was the, the merch on. I was thinking, um, <laughs> you know, dampen the sound. He's all like, "I'm gonna get two acoustic tiles and this and that." And I was like, "How about some old rags, though?" <laughs> that works. That'll work. It I'm works. An and then Trevor's extent. like, "Put the fucking shirts up." I'm also wearing a new shirt. Ooh, look at this guy, look at this guy, the Face, face Jam, Jam man. man. You killed a man for that van. With Michael, Jordan, Eric, and the Sauce Monkey. Yeah. Nick didn't know how big he was going to hit it with this show. <laughs> now he's just rolling it's his in his claim to fame, cash. dude. He's, he's rolling, a toy. In, he's is, rolling is he in fame and cash. Yeah, dude, that, that comes out soon. I don't want to... Yeah. Um, oh, okay, teaser. I don't want to jump the... It's, it's a tease of an announcement. I don't want to jump the gun because we talk about it in next week's episode of Face Jam, but we have it dated of when the, the monkey plush um, and the cup come out. It's got a Face Jam cup coming oh. out, too. There might be a third something that I'm not remembering, but those two for sure. So check it out and on Tuesday. Sell it's every Tuesday... It's every Tuesday for a while because we got the van episodes. There's no mm -hmm. bye week. We're going to start selling uh, vials of his sauce monkey blood. Uh, it runs thick like a barbecue. What, what's been awesome about that thing is that mask has taken off like I never w could have imagined it would. Um, and I really didn't even think the timing of it because, and I've said, like, I just bought it on Amazon. 
there was a bunch of people posting pictures of themselves and their friends wearing it for Halloween. And so like face jam got tweeted, like the Twitter account, somebody sent a picture. It was like four people wearing that monkey mask. And like, it's the same mask that he has. I was like, this is crazy. People are dressing up as that for Halloween. <laughs> Cause he could just go fight. It's like, you know, a $25 mask or something on Amazon. Yeah. You could be the old men for Halloween. You could be I the old men. Awesome. It's the same thing where, yeah, we were getting hit with a bunch of old men stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, not stuff owned by old men, but you know what I'm saying. I sometimes maybe. get stuff owned by old men. Yeah, well, maybe. Sometimes get, hey, yeah. here's an idea. Here's an idea for a video. <laughs> and, then <it's, laughs> and then it's whatever. <laughs> so Kane back at the office that has like a like horn on it or whatever. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. Come, I'm coming through. Yep. What's, what's the most mundane Amazon purchase you've made that has... Maybe monkey mask is it, but like that has transcended your expectations. I mean, the old uh, men mask, like a lot. Got a lot of mileage out of that. I, I take pride, I'll say, in the amount of swings that I take, right? It might be easy for me to go, bought the monkey mask, got the old man mask. I buy a lot of stuff that I don't <laughs> ever use and goes nowhere. <laughs> you know, I once I bought up, I bought like five uh, battery operated super soakers. Cause I was convinced we were going to do something with it at the office. I don't even think I brought them in. You guys have no idea. Like how many, Oh, there's the photo. There's the wow. photo of the, of the, of the monkey Halloween. Oh, it's a whole game. That was shockingly Whoa. like my that backyard was, in Austin. I'm abducted. I'm almost 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 certain GTA shot I didn't right see that same photo. Cause I don't remember the alien, but maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I also went on that binge. I also, I buy stuff cause I think, we can make a video out of it, you know, back in the day when we all were in the same place. Um, or also I think this is funny and then that's it. So like, it, I think it was right around extra life last year. I went on that dork binge and I, I bought everything on Amazon that I could find that had dork on it. And because I wanted to, I don't think I've ever even said this, but I wanted to cover Sarah's desk in it because because we were big on the dork oh, thing yeah. from the guy in Austin. We were like, these dorks. So we kept yep. saying dork a lot. So then I went to Amazon and I found dork merchandise. And that's where I had that sign that said dork street. And I just kept holding it over Sarah's head. I have like six oh, things yeah. I never used from that. <laughs> yeah, dork street have, was so funny. I have like, I think, I think I had like a nameplate uh, for like a desk. I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to run and cover her desk in when she was out of the room. And then come back and she's like, who dorked my desk? Uh, but I never got, I waste so much money on shit like that. But it's always like, With the $10. intent of trying to make content or something. Well, not only that, but it's like, that's $10. I can buy that. You know, like I don't have, I don't have expensive vices, you know? Every now and then I'd like to go, Fredo, you know this, go to like a nice steak restaurant. <sighs> I haven't done mm. that in seven months. I so I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't buy fancy cars, you know, occasionally I'll buy an expensive controller. Other than that, I just like dumb jokes. I spent like $50 on the Walker I bought for the old man. Cause I was like, I want to get a good one. I want to get one that lasts. <laughs> it's like that fun. And I got really annoyed because Jeremy threw it in the ceiling. And like, <laughs> yeah, I felt bad like, after you like, told me how hey, much it was. Come on. That's a real Walker. <laughs> real $50 walker I was trying to hook it on the beam on the ceiling <laughs> you were real I remember that day you were in a real like ah come on like you don't yeah. you don't usually go out of your way and like break shit that's like decent shit there's the walker that's it there it is and they that's pulled it. that up fast man oh, look how it Lord. holds up it under, really buckled under the, right there oh, yeah <laughs> yeah under the strenuous strain I love Right after you fall down, this is like nearing the end of the video. I walk up to you and go, "Is that a scooter?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, those things would bust my fucking ankles up. The scooters, the scooters, the ra- the yeah, the razors. I paused because I was gonna say razor, and then I stopped and I went, "No, that's like a keyboard like computer." A- and then I forgot. No, no, no. Oh, they yeah, were there no. first. Oh, razor scooters. Yeah, yeah. Razor scooters. I, it's just in the world I live in now. That's not what a razor is yeah. anymore. And I yeah. and then actually my brain caught me. No, you're right though. I have broken many canes. Yeah, the audience pointed out. I you I, broke so many. They I were like the, they were cheap though, man. I think I only. Well, I think didn't Trevor break one? I think I broke one. And yes, didn't you break one. I think I broke one. I bought it, and I'll then break one. Trevor Trevor broke it. 
and he was I like, think I whacked something with it. Yeah, and, and you were splintered. like, splintered. You were like, oh no, like, oh, I broke that. And then so you replaced it. I don't know if you used the company card, but you like, you were like, I'm gonna replace it because I know you bought it. Yeah. Got it. And then Jeremy broke that one in like a week, <laughs> and we were like, this this game sucks. Yeah. Well, Can you imagine I, if you use this? this like, so you had, like a little well, extra to get the exact same the, one you, too. Well, the dead. point of the cane is to you know you put a little bit of weight on it. It's just to assist. Whereas I was oh, putting my God. whole weight on this cane. There were <laughs> times I was just standing on the cane, basically. And I'm like, like, so that my legs could give out at any moment. Uh, and then they just would go. The screw would rip out the side yeah. of the top. And yeah. Then, yep. that'd be it wasn't it. Tried, I tried to fix it. I took the rubber foot off. And I took, because the, the handle still had the screw in it. So I just cranked it down into the other side. And then that lasted like... A day or two, I don't know, because it it, get, it tapers down to the end. It was thinner there, and I think that one busted out very quickly. Mm. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Honey. These days, it feels like shopping online is the only shopping that we really do, and that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. Here's how it works. In just a few clicks, you can get Honey on your computer for free. Then when you're checking out on one of its over 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches and if it finds working codes, Honey applies the best ones right to your cart. That's literally it. You get the little browser extension. You don't even know it's there. You forget. You buy things. You go to the checkout and it says stop. You want to search? And you're like, yeah, give me coupons. I bought a bunch of uh, Halloween stuff, you know, she came and went to buy some costumes for the kids, I was buying a bunch of clothes, and uh, Honey pops up, search for coupons. Yeah, sure, save like $12 that I didn't have to do anything for. It's it's literally just free savings. There's no reason not to use it. Honey sports all kinds of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands to even food delivery, and Honey has found its over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings for free. It's simple, if you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free and it works with whatever browser you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash off topic. That's joinhoney.com slash off topic. So they know that we sent you. Thanks, Honey, for supporting today's episode. Save some money with Honey. Dude, you're talking vices earlier, Michael. It's like my mm -hmm. vice is tech. So for me, like I'm super mm -hmm. excited because I just got um Tai Hao keycaps. So I'm about to, these are like. Ooh. Ooh, nice little keycap set and they're like textured oh. so i'm about to like oh. install into my little like keyboard i'm just like oh Ooh. bye bye reverb goodbye goodbye <laughs> dude the audio fucking kills me inside so i'm just like <laughs> i don't want to talk almost it kills me i feel like talk. anything you add to that room good. Is gonna kill the reverb. It's just no, yeah. jacking I mean, the, the stand is, I have, back there. I have a carpet in mind there's this car uh, there's this carpet company called like rug or something like that where they they're like washable rugs because we're gonna get a puppy mm. so it's gonna throw up and shit everywhere regardless <laughs> of how hard of we piss. train it you know what i mean yeah so i'm just like cool that'd be great because if it fucking throws up right here then i could just take rip it off wash it but right two to four weeks until i get it so i'm like what do i do until then and i'm like oh acoustic foam i can get that put it up there or acoustic panels but i don't know it, it, i'm dying inside i hate i don't like this audio I like well, it. Well, uh, I think in a recent Let's Play, we all just kicked on our echoes. <laughs> yeah. So we just started talking like we were all in a cave. It's funny you mentioned that. It's I don't think up. I've been in a video with him since. Yeah. This I'm is new to me. what video it was. That's I why was I was TGT. like, what's happening? Um, it's. I think it's fine. You just have to, if you're going to speak, make sure it's really important. Oh, okay. yeah. or, or like, like you're preaching, or like, or like you're giving advice or something. Because it sounds like, like a commandment. Yeah. It's like, yeah, mm. yeah. It's like, what is your first commandment, Alfredo? Go fast. Yeah, just say I win. Oh, I thought he was. I gonna, win. I thought he was gonna say. <laughs> you didn't talk about asshole. Well, the second well, commandment was one. eat ass. Yeah, the second rule. First one, you gotta go fast. You gotta pick up the, the same, momentum. No, it's the yeah. same one. That's not two different things. Okay? Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't have that's ten not. rules, so I have to stretch out these okay. rules. Yeah. <laughs> Can you and imagine Moses you, came down? Yeah. <laughs> the rule first one, commandment is fast. don't. The oh, second oh, one mean, is murder. <laughs> you mean Moses Scott? And I will give you the rest <laughs> after lunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Jeremy, congratulations on winning. He 
declared it. He claimed it. Um, he claimed it. We're in yeah, quite yeah. the uh, pickle. We're you know in, how many? Not even just pickle. I'm just, get just from that. Just, <laughs> just from that. Quite congrats, the pickle, Jeremy. It's, it's just like crazy that it's. Um, <laughs> so we're you know we're recording this. We're streaming it live, mm-hmm. but we're recording this on Thursday. It's two fifty central. And the results are the election results are still like haven't been confirmed. There's still right. like states that enough votes haven't come in where mm-hmm. generally speaking, it's Tuesday night. You never have all of the um you know, like the ballots, you know, turned in in like uh the totals, but it usually you have enough where you go, this person got this state, this person that's mm-hmm. state, and this person has two hundred and seventy, this person has won. And then, like, all that information takes days to, like, finalize. But now, here we are two days later on Thursday, still waiting. And it's so weird because I've never experienced it where, like, you know, I'm watching it. As I get older, you try and, like, keep up with, like, I live here. I should watch this and know mm-hmm. what's happening. Um, and it's, like, you keep waiting for information, keep waiting for information. And it's crazy because any given state, you know, right now there's, like, four, right? Is there four, like, big states left? Uh and it'll be like Arizona, they're releasing more information at noon. And it's like, I don't remember <laughs> there ever being like an announcement. You know what I mean? Like, right. like really oh, is. yeah, like, like a dude, teaser. I'm, che- I'm checking out the yeah. Arizona presser. And then like at noon, you're like, you're waiting, you're waiting. And it comes out and it's like, guys, you know, they're like 87% of the votes have been, uh, you know, tallied. We're releasing more at noon. And they're like, here's one more percent. All right, we'll see you tomorrow night. And you're like, what? Yeah. That was that's it? it. That's all we get. Yep. We're, we we're in Trickle City dude. right now. We're in we're in Trick City, dude. We don't so want to make like, you're just licking the droplets that come out. <laughs> we 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 talked about it before the podcast, but we don't exactly want to make any predictions, right? Like you know, people are making no, their predictions ahead, no, of the outcome. No, no, no. About the election stuff like that. But even now, I mean, we know how unreliable those are we saw it going into the election when people were like Biden's gonna win this mil- he's gonna win by this many right, points it's right. like a slaughter it's like no like yeah, I think a lot of us went into it going no that's not gonna be the case even Kat was like they're saying like Biden's he's gonna take Florida it's really good I was like are you out of your mind no I was like a little bit the guy in the White House is nuts <laughs> Florida's nuts there's not a chance in hell they don't go for him it's a it's just craziness but so the state's being watched right now are at this moment of the podcast are Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, North Carolina, yeah, Pennsylvania. You know, wait, fucking why, Alaska? Why quotes? It's a state, North yeah, Carolina. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really that North, up in the air. The, where the that thing one's that North going. Carolina gotcha. that's confusing to me is it's not that up in the. It seems the most likely that Trump's going to win it, and because it, mm-hmm. he's ahead by a good margin. I don't know what is off the top of my head. I think it's, it's like, like 110, 100,000, hundred, something like that. And yeah. there's only 5% left. And now I don't know the numbers. So it's like, I don't know if Biden could take that if he had like 100% of the remaining. I, you know, I don't know. But right. it seems very likely that Trump is going to win it. But what's what I don't understand is like that number, like in North Carolina, has sat for like since Tuesday night, essentially, or like early Wednesday morning. Like all the other states are like, Pennsylvania here. We have another 10,000 votes to tell you about, you know, in Arizona and Nevada and North Carolina is going, you know, who counts? We'll get to it. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm just like, just what are you? Hey, what are you? What are they doing? Where are your updates at? I just keep saying like, what's North Carolina? Where is this 5%? (laughs) Like, yeah. And Arizona (laughs) keeps doing that. Arizona keeps going like, all right, here's because Arizona is the one I'm watching really closely. Like people are like, you know, Shitting over Pennsylvania, and I get it. I mean, it's only a hundred thousand vote difference right now. It's and um, yeah. it just keeps closing and closing and closing. There's still about four hundred thousand votes to go. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's being counted. Um, Arizona. First off, Fox, strangely enough, and then the Associated Press called it like really early, really early. They were like, Arizona's going to Biden, it's, and like. I just couldn't understand that. I was like, that's a weird call to make. There was very little of the vote in at that point. There was like 60% or something. Um, and they still needed to count it. And it's still very close. It's still very, it's only, it's a, right now it's a 70,000 less than that. Uh, 68,000 point difference. I'm like vote difference um, with 88% in. That's pretty close. And uh, that's definitely make upable for Trump. Uh, 
but they're doing that thing. They're going like, all right, we're going to count and we'll get back to you. And then, like I said, they, they release numbers, some more numbers at like 3 a.m. Last night, my time, like, mm-hmm. like Eastern, like 3 a.m. They, and there was like, here's another, here's another 2% for you. And they put that out there and they go, we'll get you a new update uh, tomorrow night. And then even like, uh, I think uh, <laughs> Nevada, taste. Nevada, however you pronounce it, they, they're like, um, they said, oh, like we got the rest of the numbers for uh, like the Vegas area. We got them in, uh, you know, just kind of putting them together right now. We'll get them to you, you know, about noon tomorrow. Like on Friday, I'm like, why? What are you doing with them? It's it's the and weirdest the- situation because like like Michael was saying, this is like the one time that states have been so close for so long. Because normally you have such a wave on one side or the other on on election right. night or soon thereafter, and you have a result. Something this is to like to two. This is like yeah. Someone posted a meme. This is like uh, the Great British Bake Off when they're all waiting anxiously outside the oven because they don't know how long to bake <laughs> the thing because they don't yeah. have the instructions. Dude, it's the challenge. Dude. Fake, America's right? on America's on the floor right now. Just looking in the oven. Yeah, we're all sitting there. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm sorry Every, I cut you off. You had more to say. I don't know if I really did. Uh okay, well, what I will say is the other thing that's annoying the hell out of me is fucking Alaska. I get Fuck. it. I get that no, you funny. only have half the votes <laughs> reporting right now, but mm-hmm. it's like two to three Trump. It Alaska always goes Republican. Sure. Just fucking call it. I don't understand why Alaska's sitting there going, I don't know, guys. This will be down to the wire. <laughs> and like, Alaska's like, this is our time. Well, well, that's, yeah, we and that's right. make some headlines. They, they want to get, you know, they're like, dude, Pennsylvania, Arizona, who knows? And then someone from Alaska goes, yeah, in Alaska too. In Alaska, right? we're over we're here. here. You better cut. We're, you better we're, sue us, we're those, You better sue us. Where are those three hey. points going? <laughs> While you're looking, we also have tourism. Come, come, hang out in <laughs> Alaska. Everyone's just going, Alaska. Shut up, Alaska. You're not a part of this. <laughs> yeah, man, politics, dog. Yeah, it's not even <laughs> politics, Alfredo. Because I watched the Queen's all, Gambit. Listen to me. Justin all the people Hart. talking right now <laughs> don't know anything about politics. It's a picture with colors and numbers on it. Okay, and I go, this number's bigger than this number. Can you? Is that number going to get any bigger, do you think? How many more numbers are going to come in? And then you go, where are the more, where are the rest of the numbers? That's, that's, I just refresh. I look at a map. I look at the map and I say, it's a big map. A little bit oh, well. of spittle on your chin is perfect for what you do. <laughs> yeah. Your character yeah. is a little shine. Right a little, a little shine. So, what character? Yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's going on in the country right now. And I'm, now I'm going to keep who doing won. this. I'm going to keep and doing yeah. this, looking. Yeah, at this point, watching this on YouTube, possibly even just on the site, uh, you know what well, okay. happened. Well, we'll you say. know what happened according to the election. What are you but watching? There, you pulled us out. We're on a VHS tape in a, in a time capsule. You pulled us out yeah. in 2055, and you're like, these, these idiots. They knew these nothing. Idiots. We're not even we're not even done with the court cases yet. It's like what? they don't know the war of twenty forty. No. Trump, Trump, what? Trump in like like all shrill in the corner, like, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little raisin oh, man. It's him. <laughs> it's him? Well, I remember. They thought they won. <laughs> um, but what I did learn is you could just you can just call dibs. That's possible. Yes. That mm-hmm. was the thing. Dude. That was that was the take it back. With Jeremy going, I won. Is just someone going, I'd like to announce, I claim Pennsylvania, <laughs> and everyone going, what? Yeah, I, yeah, I called it. So Mine. I Mine. was screaming. I, that's Jeremy. That's when I go. Why didn't Biden call Alaska? Call Alaska. Claim it. Yeah, Nobody it, claimed it's right it yet. there. It's, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you Those talking? Confused ice people don't know what the hell they're doing. What Get are you them. talking about? It's like Jeff in a GTA race. It, it literally is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I did one thing. I win. I did, <laughs> the video over. Let's stop. Look at me. I'm in the front. I win. <laughs> the video's over. So Let's weird. Stop. It's so weird. The 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 weirdest part about it was, in particular, to like Pennsylvania. It was a. It was several states. I think it was Pennsylvania. It might have been Arizona as well. The weirdest part about it was it wasn't even like, look, I won. I'm saying like I won. It was like a decree the way it was written. Like I hereby announce claim 
for to for we, the sake of electoral we, votes for the for the goodness and the righteousness of the electoral votes claim the commonwealth of pennsylvania it was like an announcement like you were getting married it was so weird My favorite and it was thing. and i went what does that mean even if you can't stand the man um watch the speech he gave at 2 a.m on election night for the one moment because he makes this noise that i always find i always laugh when i hear it you get there's a stink bug flying around i got my eyes on it um he oh, those stink bugs those stink bugs man they're starting to phase out i think it's getting too cold but he like made this speech at 2 a.m and at one point he goes like we were all ready to have a party we had all won everything and then all of a sudden these votes start showing up and they and um uh, these people in charge that I'm talking to, they go, ah, oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> that's like my Robin Williams. <laughs> just goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he just oh, makes like this oh, ooh noise. It's so funny to me every time <laughs> I hear it. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't know what he was gonna say yet, so he had to fill the time to think of it with a noise, and it was oh. <laughs> and that's uh, you know, that's, a lot that's of, what a lot, we'll say about it. I guess it's, yeah, it's it's looking at the maps, and then there's a lot of memes in every mm -hmm. direction. A lot, of, a memes lot of memes thrown around. I've seen Biden sucking down ice cream cones all over Twitter. Well, I, I don't even Barack know what it's thing. about. Didn't Barack have that? Him eating ice cream wasn't that a big thing too? There's pictures of Barack eating ice cream. There's like eight pictures of Barack eating an ice cream cone in various places. Dude, you're I mean, talking like about ice um, cream. You're talking about memes. One of my friends texted me a picture today and it was like, it was a you know picture of the United States. And it was like, if you want to break from the red and blue map, here's a map of the area codes that Ludacris had hose in. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, All right, that's good. The meme I've been seeing a lot from this whole thing is I've been seeing people uh pick like posting pictures and gifts of people like driving or like from movies with like getaway cars and stuff where they're skidding around and then the the tags with it are like uh like me driving to nevada to count the votes my damn self <laughs> whenever because it's taking so long <laughs> so i've seen or i've seen the sloth from zootopia and it's yeah. like the ballot counter yeah this is the one guy <laughs> I understand they're all working very hard. I'm not, you know, I'm and not, most you know, and most are volunteers. Shitting on any too. of the people, yeah, they're all like, yeah, mostly volunteers. So I'm not shitting on any of them. They're doing very hard work around the clock. So I'm not. If, yeah, um, if he actually used to, he was one of the individuals that has counted bo votes in the past. He uh, made an Instagram story, kind of outlining his experience with that process and how it went down. If you're interested, and if it's still up, you should check it out. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. one picture cool. where he's Inside just like thing. blanking on top of a box <laughs> <laughs> on the middle of like an office floor. And I'm just like, yep, yeah, no. He could he's... live stream that. If he was doing that in Pennsylvania right now, he could be live streaming it. Because they're just live streaming that. If they, they have that live stream up of people counting the ballots. If someone just stood up on the table and planked on top of one of the boxes in the middle of that live stream, it's so funny. I mean, at this oh, moment, man. people go, all right, they're fucking around. Oh, they're all, get them out yeah. of there. Yeah. Yeah, I was oh. watching, um, you know, because I've been staying up till like two or three in the morning, yep. like watching coverage. And I was like, I'll just go to bed. And then I wake up at seven and I go, I might as well watch more. And so I'm just like looking at it. And there was um, they were doing like live coverage inside one of the um, polling centers. And they um, they were they were saying like, you know, again, Almost everyone here is a volunteer. Yes, there's some paid people, but it's mostly volunteer workers, like, you know, doing like all the like grunt work, the, the ballot, you know, all the whole process for um, processing them and everything. And one guy was like, I've been talking to this woman specifically, you know, so on and so forth. You know, I'm going to talk to her for a minute. And she came over and I was like, you're stopping her from counting. Why are you talking to her? <laughs> Get <laughs> like, back to work. She's giving an interview. And I'm just like, people are going to be pissed at this woman. Right, what's your name? Just so everyone knows, you're talking to me right now. <laughs> it's very much like, yeah, you, you want to be like, hurry up is the last thing you want. You don't want to be like, hurry up, but like, you just want to know. You know right. what I mean? I just want to. That's the thing. You just want to know. We just want to. We just want to get. You want to get the results, so then we know where the next nine weeks of hell is going to take us. Like no matter yep. what happens, you know, it's like this guy 
or that guy. I'm, I'll sue you. I'll sue the which state. Which old man? I'll sue. Who's suing who? <laughs> He's gonna hobble up long? those stairs. Who's going to which court? <laughs> you know, it's because it's that's all the next phase. Um, this is just like the first one, mm -hmm. and then everyone can decide who's gonna sue who in what way. Yeah. <laughs> But, I've just uh, taken my curiosity and I've, <laughs> and I've thrown it outside and I won't let it back inside until everything is settled because like do that. I, I dabble. I, I'll pull up the map. I'll be like, da, 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 do a dip dab. OK, everything's there and there and whatever. Or it's the same because that's typically the case. And then I'll go back to my live flying, uh, which is uh, Queen's Gambit, as Fredo mentioned. I, I keep that. That's, that's keeping my attention show, right? this week. Yes, it is a really good mini series. Man. Chess show. It's on that's Netflix. On, I don't care about chess, but it's a great story. We mean you don't yep. care about chess. Come on, man. You gotta get into this, chess. That tweet, him no. saying that, is what got me to it's watch the show. It's over for me. It's too <laughs> it's late for me. It's over for Dude, me. Dude, look, I saw Queen's Gambit, man. They had like four-year-olds are like, this was a chess pro this this chess prodigy. He's he's up and coming. He's amazing. I'm like 30 years old. I'm like, nah, it's too old to get into this. And did this they do their game? Go, <laughs> move it makes slap. you like, damn, what was my potential? What could I have been? <laughs> I could have been something. <laughs> in chess is everything world. too late for me? Chess is like it's one of those things where you can get away with it. Where you know I'm huge into like whether they're good or not, just like cliche like action movies. You mm -hmm. know, especially the ones you've got your action type heroes, but then you also have your like little nobodies, and they become the hero. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're the special, you know, like Matrix style or some something like that. The um, one. And it's like, dude, you sucked, but now you're awesome. Or you get that moment where it's like, whoa, this person like shocked this person. And chess has that because it's always some guy being like, mm -hmm, you'll never beat me. And the person's like, doo, doo, doo. and they're like, oh, it's just like watching an anime. You know, gotcha. like, it's like, you know, it really, oh, it really oh, is, though. I haven't gotcha, watched the show yet, but I know there's fuck. elements of that in there where there's like, <laughs> I was like, hold on. He the yelled at something. I was like, there's a man yelling somewhere, and I just saw Jeremy. Get up out of his chair and go chase down a stink bug. I thought oh, that was someone bug. outside or something. Oh, but yeah, no, it's like, it's like the like hero's journey meets Anna. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna shit on the bug. Got him. <laughs> oh, you give him a piece of your own stink. <laughs> he's gonna, like, he sees in the corner, he's like, come here, you little shit. Whoa. <laughs> go get some of this. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, when I see a stink bug landing here, I catch him in these paper towels that I have conveniently placed here for catching stink bugs. And then I just pit, and then I just pitch them out the window over there because they're that often. I like I, I, I sniff them. them out. No, they don't smell no. unless you squish them, which is why I don't kill them. Uh, right, but like it's yeah, only I just bad grab for them you. And, and I just like poof, out the window, and so they usually get a good like eight feet from the house before they deploy the wings and fly. Away. And then fly yeah. back into the window that they came <laughs> yeah, from. Yeah, did they try and come back? I mean, they, they get in. Did they scream, "Father"? How are they getting in? I don't know where they're getting in from, but they're getting mm. in. Inside they were the original Booker's sounds. letting them in. Booker's like, yo, give me some of that yeah, catnip. Yeah, get in here. Get in do here. the cats, like, eat them? Come or, on, man. Or do they just ignore them? No, they don't. We read about that before we came up here because our parents were like, listen, we went by the house. You know, we saw it and everything. There's a lot of stink bugs. Like, we had, <laughs> like, they were like, we had someone come by. They sprayed to help keep them out of the house. There's a lot of stink bugs. And, uh... <laughs> So I started looking up, like, is it okay if cats eat stink bugs? And they're like, yeah, it's fine. If they eat too many of them, they're, they're going to shit themselves a little bit. <laughs> and I was like, okay. But, I mean, I've seen them walking around on the carpet, the stink bugs. Like, rarely I'll see one, like, you know, going across the floor. And the cats will go up, and they'll, like, kind of smell at it, and then they'll walk away. But And, like, which surprises me, because they eat everything. Like, Scooter used to sit by the front door in Austin. <laughs> Hoping that when if I opened it to go outside, a gecko might run in. Um, and there were what several a specific times. Specific hope. Yeah, like because it happened a lot. We just oh, had yeah. geckos and anoles around a bunch. Yeah, and like, and they would run in. And there were several times that I'd see Scooter doing something off in the corner. I'd be like, whoa! Like, and sometimes I'd catch the gecko because it would break its tail off, and Scooter would be yeah. distracted with that, and then I could catch the gecko and get it outside. But other times, like, I'd grab Scooter, I'd be like, what do you have? And just, like, the head of a lizard would, like, fall on the ground. Oh. I'm like, well, you got that one. You did it. Mm. Well done. It's gross. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by HelloFresh. Get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and 
affordable. HelloFresh offers convenient, no contact delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. And the recipes are easy to follow with simple steps and pictures to guide you along the way. It cuts out the stressful meal planning so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes. And you can save 40% when you use HelloFresh versus shopping at the grocery store. So it gets delivered right to your house. It gives you instructions on exactly what to do and how to make it. And you can save money doing it. HelloFresh makes sure that over 90% of its ingredients are sourced directly from growers to ensure peak flavor and ripeness. And with more than 20 chef-crafted delicious options available every week, you'll be breaking out of your recipe rut and trying out new flavors in no time. Plus, there's something for everyone with low calorie, vegetarian, and even family-friendly recipes available. You can easily change your delivery days, meal plan preferences, or skip a week whenever you need to right on their app. It's so easy. It's just at your fingertips. And you can keep your fridge stocked by adding extra meals, proteins, quick meals like breakfast on the go, or 10-minute lunches, even desserts to satisfy that sweet tooth. I've been eating HelloFresh uh, just yesterday. I had a uh, spaghetti, a pork. Oh, my. Oh, what do we have right here? My pork sausage uh, spaghetti. This uh, with a little zook. That's zucchini. Call a little zook in there. It's like, boom. How do you make it? Right there. It's all right there. Uh, my wife likes to collect these too. So then guess what? We have the recipe forever. Uh, huge. It was like a huge portion. Plenty for, because I have the family, me, my wife, the kids. There's plenty of food for everybody. You know, it's just for you or it's for two people. You do the two people portion, less food. Uh, you know, doesn't go to waste. You got just enough for you. Go to hellofresh.com slash offtopic90 and use code OFFTOPIC90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. Do what I did and get some new fresh food in your life. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com slash OFFTOPIC90 and use code OFFTOPIC90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. Yeah. They're always like, they're always like hanging on the door too. Mm -hmm. Especially late at night. They're way more uh, frequent at night. But like, yeah, yeah, you open the door and then they'll like, they can like make a break to like the inside of your house. It's like, oh mm. shit, no, you're going to die in here. That's why yeah. I always yell at them because they're not, they're not <laughs> built for my 65 degree house. Right. And I'm and like, like, get out, get out. When they come through my door, it's like a portal to hell. Cause there's just yeah. three monsters yeah. that will eat them <laughs> like at any chance. I'm like, you fucked up. I got to get you out of here. It's bad. I think there, I think there might be a dead gecko or a little lizard dude hanging in our couch somewhere because at one Ooh, point yeah couch? that's what happened in your couch open the door it was on the door and then it and then mm -hmm. it fell off we hadn't seen it yeah and then scurried under the door behind the couch and then like at some point uh, i was trying to like usher it out i was trying to capture it so i could take yeah, it out they're quick it, like it fell behind the couch and then we never saw it again yeah, it's dead, or, or sure. in the couch or something I'm so i'm, I'm just waiting right. for the day we move and there's going to be a little like skeleton either wedged in the cushion I mean, or just underneath <laughs> or matted Dude, go into to your the carpet. attic. You, you probably have 50 in your attic. There's dead shit in attic. Like, yeah. That's their domain yeah, now. That's their domain. I, I try and catch them. <laughs> I try and graveyard. spare them, but they love running into like corners and behind shelves and shit. I usually just get like a cup and I try and like, like a plastic cup, mm -hmm. and I, but get them in the cup and then I can carry them back outside to safety. Cause they're yeah. cool. They get a pass. It's like you're I just little, grab them. You know, just, you're, a little, you're a little lizard. You're cool. I see. I don't want to like crush them in my hands. Yeah. Because like you said, Ugh. they just fall apart. Like their tails just come really off. Just fall just apart. Right yeah, off. dude. Easy. They just they just snap, and I don't want to like grab one and like crush it. So I just try and cup it, and then I and then it like it'll just start climbing up the cup, like on the inside of the cup. I don't care about touching it, but it, I just to me that's a safer procedure, and then I just take them outside. And I go, go kill, eat spiders and shit, and whatever. And then like, well, the spiders eat like, something else. Yeah, spiders, I go, always go, get out of the house too. Go all eat each other. I don't give a shit. Just do it outside my house. Dude, I was, sta I was sitting in my garage in Austin. Um, and I was trying to clear out, because like Kat and I did a really bad job of like getting rid of boxes. Like if we got packages shipped in, we'd like empty it. We'd break up the box so it's flat, but then we just toss it in the garage and we wouldn't do anything with it. Like we never mm -hmm. like maybe the recycling bin was full or whatever. We we're like, we'll break this down later. And that just kept happening. So it was just piles of shit. And I was like, I gotta get rid of this. So I was like sitting in my garage, just cutting stuff up, trying to clean it out. And um, one of the times at night when I was doing it, I was, was like stacking everything up and I looked up because I kind of saw something and there was just a snake going across the floor that was like you know this big and he's just 
like going across the floor and I just like watched him go and like go behind my punching bag. And uh, so I, I went into, I went back into my house and went to Cat. I was like, Cat, where's the broom? And like, so I got the broom and some other stick and I was like, I'm going to go fight a snake. I'll be back. And then I FaceTime called my mom and set up my camera because I was like, I want you to watch me get this snake because <laughs> I knew it would freak her out. So it was just me You're like watch and suffer. It, so it was just me with a broom, like moving stuff, being like, right, I know the snake's back here somewhere. He's hiding in the brush. And I was like getting in there and moving shit. And I eventually found him in a crack in the wall. He had like perfectly wedged himself into it. So he was just along the whole crack. And he was like black with a little Ooh. bit of yellow on him. So it was hard to see him. Um, but yeah, eventually worked him out of there and like made sure to get him out of the house. But I fucking love snakes. So like the whole, I was just like showing it to, I was like, ooh like you know showing it to the camera and stuff because i love them but uh gonna get a pet snake no because i don't i don't want a pet snake because a it's a snake like i say get a pet because a pet will show you affection in some way a cat or a dog could show you it'll, affection it'll, it'll... no yeah. it'll, 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 i'm like stick its tongue out periodically it'll dribble on you no i it, look at a uh, snake make and you I go, feed it live things right i don't want a pet that i look at and go you don't think Right. You know, and like snake, that's snake, snake is very is. much a like that's cool. And then right. that's I have it. a living thing in a box. That's mm -hmm. a snake. Right. <clears throat> right. And um, they're also a lot creature. of work yeah. to take care of. Right. It's true. Not that any pet isn't, but it's not like when you get into those like caged pets, like they're just as much work as a fucking dog or a cat, mm -hmm. if not more. You know, yeah. because mm -hmm. they're so self contained, you have to like clean it constantly and like I, a bunch of animals are like super prone to getting sick and you gotta like medicine and shit like like dogs and cats they were like built to just be like hey you mm -hmm. run around and do whatever <laughs> yeah and it's just, so that makes sense to me and also i'd be nervous if it got out that the cats would kill it yeah you know because mm. they would <clears throat> and uh that's yeah. why when it comes to like terrariums and stuff i love tortoises i love turtles but i live vicariously through chilled who has one he right. and jess tweet out their tortoise all the time tortellini yeah and i love it yeah How i love it but i just to... like it's so, so much like you gotta feed eventually they you also gotta, get well, huge you gotta isn't imagine it, isn't it one is gonna get huge two is gonna yeah. live for a long time to the point where like it will outlive yeah. him and he has Could. to pass it on probably it can some tortoises it, it, and like not to say like you can't have an affection for this animal but like jeremy said it's not it just isn't you just don't go like, oh, dude, this turtle loves me. We run around together. <laughs> He's going to come cuddle catch. up with me now. You watch. You know, it's like I like just put him on my arm and like, you know, rubbing his neck. Like you just can't do that with it. And with so much of the stuff you're talking about, like having the terrarium and everything, you really have to like not only want the pet, but like that's like a hobby more. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like, like I wouldn't There's describe lot, having a dog as a hobby unless you're huge into like I go running and I go running with my dog. It's still very much like. I care for this pet for like the connection and the affection and all that stuff. But when you get into that huge maintenance, it's like fish, right? Who the fuck is like, I love this fish, man. It's like, that's the hobby is like the fish tank. And you know, it's like, it's like art essentially. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I don't have paintings. I have a giant fish tank and like you buy shit for the tank and you get the cool mm -hmm. lights and everything. And if you just want a pet, that is a wrong move. Right. Uh, just not because accessories. it's right. It's work, you know, it's work and you're just going to have to like get rid of it or it's going to die or something. So I imagine they have a bit of a stink to them, too. You know, I mean, they're anything just living, eating and crap and in the same little box. Well, well the other thing Oof. with that, too, is like pets are bad enough, right? Like dogs and cats, you get they get in the shit, get to wash them. But anything with water, water stinks, dude. Oh, like dude, old water. Yeah, that shit stinks anything remotely moldy. damp is disgusting. And you constantly have to clean it. Yeah, you have to clean it, scrub mm -hmm. it out, change out the water eventually. It's a lot of work. And then, like, sometimes if you have, like, the rocks in the bottom, like, that shit gets all moldy and stuff. So you have to put, like, yeah. some solution at, well, after the <laughs> you take out the fish Rock or something bottom. like that. Oof. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Rock Just <bottom>. a quick... <laughs> Rock bottom. Did, um, did Michael tell... You guys, how we were the biggest assholes ever. What does that mean? What have you done? In, in what which scenario? Oh, hang Michael, on. You say, you, you say, what does that mean? I'm talking first about the all, Fall Guy incident of, of 2020. All, okay. First of all, that was you. Mm. Second of all, 
Mm-hmm. I've never, I've never done a thing in my life. Was, a uh, thing? Was this never a done gay anything? thing? <laughs> yeah, like a thing where someone's like, "This guy's a jerk." So, was this against Meg or Jackie or okay. just random people? Both. Got so it. this involved, you know, the game fall guys. It's the takeout crew. So it's Michael, myself, Meg, Jackie. Yep. Michael, Meg, and myself were playing season two medieval themed. Right. One of the yep. game modes called Wall Guys. It's a bunch of boxes and stuff like that that you have to kind of like move around so you can climb on top of them and then from there jump over to the wall and then climb over the wall and then keep keep going keep going and obviously with like you know a shit ton of like other players you're pushing each other falling into each other everyone's in your way we're playing with meg and meg goes hey did you guys know that as the round moves on there's gears on the side of the wall and the wall's very slowly start moving down what it michael was, and i okay it, well no no hang on hang on mm-hmm. what it was was somebody said that to me and i went i don't know if this is true but this is what this person is telling me mm-hmm. and then meg looked it up and she was like holy shit he's right that's what happens so like we all learn together at the same time yeah that, that together was the at the scenario. same time we're very the skeptical game, the game is very the the grab mechanics are dog shit usually you just grab to grab people and throw them but this mm-hmm. is the very first game where like you have to climb you have to grab and climb. you have to use that hanging and it, climbing it mechanic works terribly and i was saying i think what prompted this person to tell me this as i was saying is there's varying sizes in the stacks and i was like man it's crazy like sometimes i get to the end and you have to be on the highest platform to get over the final wall. Like you have to, to be able to reach it. But I swear, sometimes I'm on, I'm on the second highest platform mm-hmm. and I make it. And then like, cause I said that, cause I got to the very end and I was on the second highest platform and it's like, this is impossible. No doubt, no question. It's impossible to make it from the second highest platform, but I know I've done it before. And then someone was like, oh, they lower over time. That's why. And we were like, what? We're like, what? This is crazy. And I think, I think actually like, Michael, we were playing a separate time together. That came up, and then we all played together. Then I think Meg brought it up, and then that's when we were like, oh, yeah, oh, maybe. We, we kind of talked about that Possible. already. But then we are like, oh, shit, that's crazy. We are all like a little skeptical. We were like, oh, my God, that's crazy. Like, it actually does. We, like, looked at it. A couple hours come go by, or like an hour or so goes by. Jackie joins us, right? We're playing. We're having fun. We get to that level. Meg goes, hey, Jackie, did you know that the walls slowly go down? little bit of a beat there jackie goes i don't believe you and then (laughs) instantly i dogpiled on that i went meg good try you almost got her and then michael already running past me just dogpiling even more so onto the joke or just like you know uh what were you saying michael after that i do it was just yeah it was a thing where there was that pause and jackie said something and she was like yeah okay and even though we're both in our houses and we can't see each other, it's like Alfredo and I went like this. And we both looked at each other and they were like, she's not buying it. And, he, and, he, and then, yeah, I was just like, dude, Jackie, she was so excited to get you. She was like, I'm going to tell Jackie that the wall's lower. Jackie's going to believe it. And Meg's just going, fuck you. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I like, hate really? you. I Dude. hate you guys. You are assholes. And we're like, look, Meg, you didn't get her, okay? It's fine. Like, it was really funny, <laughs> dude. It was really funny. And then we were like, listen, what happened? Jackie, what happened was we told Meg and we fooled her. And so then when she found out, she was like, oh, you guys got me. I'm going to get Jackie later. Yeah. This continued for about 35 minutes. Dude, it's it was like, like Among Us has bled into every other <laughs> no. game. Well, what happened, what, ha- what kept happening is like, we were being so overt and Meg just going, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. And every now and then Jackie would go, yeah, you're not going to get me, Meg. And we would just, <laughs> we would just keep laughing and we just, and then Fredo would go, nope, can't get her. Meg, you can't, you can't get her. <laughs> like we just kept playing. It was you, so we bad. Just came, we kept saying shit like, don't worry, we've got your back. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we were just, we just kept piling onto it and saying things just like, look, you got to understand Meg has been waiting for an hour and a half to try and get you with this. She's really salty about it right now. Like this was everything for her. You know, she was telling us when we got her how anybody can get got and then she tried to get you and it just didn't happen. 
like obviously you're smarter than that you saw past it and then it was just <laughs> meg was just like it 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 went on dude. right and it was like we were becoming more overt with it as time went on like clearly just you know digging at meg we're like meg honestly meg i couldn't believe i can't believe you i can't believe you would even try something like that i thought we were friends and we ju- and we just kept doing it and slowly at some point it got to the point where then we just started like talking about how we made it up right or like how it is true we i don't remember the exact verbiage but it was finally like okay the joke is settling yeah everyone's in on it it's fine and we're, and and like at one point i went yeah. meg i i can't believe that work like i can't believe mm-hmm. that we successfully like threw you under the bus like that no, and then talking point, back to us at one point we we're just like look all right she may know now but we still won they're like we said like pretty much that right. along we, the line we broke the fourth wall to be mm-hmm. like it was fun while it lasted blah 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 and meg's like you guys are assholes da, 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 da. and then she makes some kind of comment and she goes she was like no joke you guys are doing that and i was like i was looking up articles to send to jackie to like prove that i wasn't lying and and then there's another beat <laughs> and jackie goes yeah what are you gonna send me like an onion article and Alfredo oh, went, no. and Alfredo and I went, oh my God, she still believes it. And Meg You're goes, like, oh wait, my God. Meg's like, wait, what? you still don't believe me? And we just dove right back into it for like oh, a yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so Jackie yeah. said that. It just that. started all over again. Dude, Meg was like, you don't believe me? And I was like, look here, hon. I was like, look here. Meg tried to get you. But not only did you not get got, you cut her off at the pass. Like you're way ahead of the game right here. And then oh. it was just we just kept going the over whole ordeal, and over. It had to be like 40 minutes without exaggeration. So it was Meg just kept screaming gaslighting. You're gaslighting. I had, this is gaslighting. Cause cause Michael, I had one of my friends like chop it down um just for our own amusement so we can go mm-hmm. back and gas, you know, watch gaslighting in the movie. It was an hour and a half long. Oh it was my an, goodness. It was an hour and a half of Meg just like, they're lying. It does go down, Jackie. Look. And we're just like, Meg, this is desperate. We just got, let's get <laughs> past was, this. And we're just like, and, it's like, and, we, and we just kept playing the game. This is like, as we just kept playing, it's not like we stopped. We're just like playing new no, levels and playing, it just kept yeah. getting brought up. And then finally, at one point, we just kept talking, whatever. And Jackie was like, fuck you guys <laughs> and like and we're like what we're out here we're trying to protect you and she's just like meg i'm really sorry i don't know why i believe them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, just like, she just started apologizing to meg and then uh it was then shortly after at one point i decided to switch sides and i would just i just went i can't believe alfredo did that to you and then and then, and then i was talking about how I, I go look i'm he tricked me that's all I can say. Alfredo tricked me. I go, I'm like, I'm willing to come clean. I'm like the guy that I will go and admit to everything, but I'm granted immunity. That man did it. Alfredo Diaz. He was Meg, the one who did this. And Meg was upset and Jackie was a little upset too. So I just kept sitting there. I was like, look, okay, if there's anything to take from this, just don't blame Michael. Okay. All right. Like this was me. I did this, all right? I, and they're like, no. And Jack is like, no, Michael's to blame too. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I masterminded this whole entire plan. Like there's any takeaway, it, it just, it leave that man alone. A, leave him out of it. The crazy <laughs> thing about it was like, it was so in depth and it went on so long. And it was something that just happened. It literally started with Meg going, oh, hey, here's this thing we learned. And Jackie went, I don't believe that. And Alfredo and I went, well, that's our night. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> And so, it's all, like you said, it's because of the lion games and just like the terrible people yeah. we are. There's well, no reason for it. At one point, we were just sitting there telling Jack, it's like, we got your back. We'll protect you. And we're just laughing our asses off. And then Michael just goes, <laughs> we should be cult leaders. I did say <laughs> That's that. pretty bad. That's I pretty awful. That. But while you guys were doing this, while this whole thing was going on between the four of you, I was streaming Fall Guys with chilled cole and david and we're we were all streaming it together and someone comes into our chat and goes hey did you guys know that the walls lower (laughs) on wall guys and i and i read it in my chat i was like oh chilled did you know that 
the the walls of, in wall guys apparently they lower as the thing goes on and children call them and they're like oh really that's cool and i read the chat more and i go oh no apparently meg made that up because <laughs> oh, in my chat they started saying that and i was like oh i guess that's just something meg made oh, up god, we're okay, monsters. all right and, oh. and we went on the rest of the night i like it didn't oh, come up like, that dude. much again after oh, that but i was god. like I went over the rest of the night going, better. the walls don't lower. The chat just told me that Meg made that up. It's oh, a lie. I can't believe because you guys did too. Chat. That's like collecting a royalty check. It's like we put out the album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you thought it was over. We're still getting a little bit, a little bit of something. And I planted because the seed. You I harvested said, it in great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The, the big tree blossomed. But I said in the chat because people were like, nah, Meg, Meg made that up. It wasn't, that wasn't true. And I was like, okay, I can believe that because Meg was the one saying that different suits made you act differently or something. She was yeah, like, her oh, and Jackie this agreed on that one. Yeah. It was like the top own. heavy thing. And I'm like, well, that's clearly not correct. So this probably isn't a thing either. And so I yeah. just, I read a few things in the chat and went, ah, that's not real. Meg yeah. made it up. <laughs> so bad. Michael and Alfredo threw it. Chat people also got me and chilled and cold. <laughs> we all like thought Meg was lying. <laughs> like a virus. Like Dude, that all, furthers oh. the cult thing I said. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. You know, as we get into fall and winter, the meat cravings start setting in. Uh, I just crave meat like an animal uh, really all the time, but especially during that like colder weather. And it doesn't get cold very often in Texas, so I, I soak it up you know, while it's happening and it's happening now. It's like a fever that I have. And the only prescription for it is savory and delicious offers from Omaha Steaks. Uh, seriously, Omaha Steaks, we've been talking about them for a, a long time. I'm sure you've heard about them. I've been eating them since I were, since I were, was a kid, not a kid now. Now I'm a big boy. Now I can get my own Omaha Steaks. Used to buy them for my dad for Father's Day. And, and he would get excited because he's like, wow, I love Omaha Steaks. I'm like, yeah, me too. Now cook them so I can eat them. Uh, right now, you can get a steakhouse caliber grill pack at an exclusive price just for our audience. The Butcher's Best Sellers Package includes eight perfectly aged steaks, four ultra juicy burgers, and I mean juicy, sides and desserts for a total of 16 entrees all you have to do is type promo code off topic in the search bar to unlock this limited time offer omaha steaks will add free shipping and two pounds of premium ground beef free to your order this rich intensely flavored beef will add some serious tastiness to any recipe so head over to omahasteaks.com and enter the code off topic in the search bar to get the butcher's best sellers package at 45 percent off plus free shipping and two pounds of free ground beef that's four bacon wrapped filet mignons, two, uh, four top sirloins, and eight more main entrees plus dessert. Visit omahasteaks.com and type off topic in the search bar and stock up in the comfort of your own home and then just start eating meat. Just, uh, or I will. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> you guys hey, started I, the I, just, work. I just went, we'd be really good at this. <laughs> I just love that Jackie has a tendency oh. to get like a very like strong uh, train of thought, whether it's like playing a game and she's like, oh, I'm going to do this move. And then if somebody like figures out the move she's going to do and tries to subvert that, she's like, I'm still going to do the move. I'm like, yes. it doesn't make any Dude, sense no, anymore. There's I, no, I love there's her no determination. from the plan. <laughs> yeah, I love her determination because then you guys always come and play with it. You either undermine her whatever like move she's going to make or you undermine her like opinion coming in and you play with it in a fun way obviously and like dude it just all makes the time. Her fun chaos i mean she's like a short little example of that is um what is that um finale in fall guys with the spinny the spinning one jump showdown jump showdown right well you have the bottom bar spinning and the big fat top bar um mm -hmm. on this top half that's slowly going around jackie's one of jackie's outfits was the milkshake and the milk you know you have the big <laughs> thick milkshake and it has a little straw that comes up so she's jumping and we're michael and i are both out we're watching she's jumping and she's like oh my god i feel like i'm hitting the top and then we just dog piled onto that and we're just like yeah it's because the straw is touching the, no. the top part no. of the yeah. <laughs> i was like well yeah you yeah, got the strong, long man, straw and, tall, she just goes, you know? and jackie's so great she'll go what now you're lying really no <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so well, good at that. Because of what you've She's done so to her. You've... <laughs> because of no, you. <laughs> that's not true. Is that true? Her whole she life is like an onion article. Anything. Is this real or not? There's enough reality here that I can believe Listen, it. She's the, one, she's the one believing about costume <sighs> physics. And, and half the time, I'll say something like that. It's referencing something Jackie said. I'll just bring back something she said earlier. And then she'll go, is that true? And I was like, <laughs> well, like, again, with the whole just float thing. Where I'm like, and not that she said that, you said that, but it was in reference to her. She just gets, and it's it's kind of back to what Trevor says. She gets so into it. There's like very, a long time ago, very early playing in the game, we were doing Hex. And, and I think everyone was dead except for me. So she was watching me play. And I ran out of blocks. Like I didn't suddenly die. I just knew I was going to lose. And I was like, I'm out. I got no tiles left. And she's like, no, 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 don't give up. And I was like, I have, I have no tiles left, Jackie. I'm, like, I'm three, two. She's like, no, 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 don't quit. Don't quit. And I was like, I'm not quitting. There's no time. And I fall. <laughs> and, I, and I end up, Alfredo goes, just float. <laughs> Michael, just float. And I was just like, I appreciate your tenacity. Yeah. But I'm not <laughs> throwing in the towel. There's, I have no tiles left to stand on. And she's like, don't you fucking quit on me. I just, you I can love, win this I love whole the thing. Investment. <laughs> like there's times she's, where like I'll tune into Fredo's thing and I, I'll just hear Jackie from the other room yelling in. Like I love yeah. it. It's she's just born so to be, to she's me. born to be a coach, man. Yeah. Um God, we did that we did another thing too where Alfredo kept pretending to end his stream. One oh, night no. while we were still playing. That was and, like, a mistake. Was, that was, was a mistake. <laughs> and he was and he was losing viewers every time he did it. Massive <laughs> amounts of viewers. They sign yeah, off. So, Someone so knows the whole, me, they the sign whole, off. Yeah, no, because the whole thing was like something would happen in game, maybe, you know, maybe during a conversation where it, it would seem like a little bit of a wind down of a topic, or the game like we'd get kicked down and be like, all right, well, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. And I'd like hit my button and like you know, logo pops up and his the stream is ending. Yeah. And then we would just sit there quietly. And then after like 10 seconds, we're like, you think they bought it? And then we would just bring the camera yeah. back up and keep playing. My my favorite <laughs> one, you did it like once or twice, but my favorite one, then it became a like a joke. He just kept doing it. And my favorite one was like, you killed it. And it's like, stream is ending. It says it came back and you were like, you're touching the camera and you went, did you just get baited? Yeah. <laughs> and like every time you did it, you lost more viewers because people saw you <laughs> lose hundreds at a time. So, people so just finally, get baited into leaving. <laughs> finally, we stopped playing for real. And Jackie was like, all right, I'm out. Boom. And like immediately left because her and Alfredo were going to get food. Yep. And so Alfredo and I were just like dicking around and we just kept doing it. We're like, all right, seriously, though, we'll see you. And then we waited like 30 seconds at one point, came back. We just kept doing it. And then finally you hear, in the background, Jackie go, and the stream. <laughs> Cause like she walked into the next room and saw Alfredo still doing it. That's so and good. Alfredo though. texted me. He was like, yo, she wants food. I got it. <laughs> She's like, and the stream. One more. We're going One to get more. food. <laughs> God, I love now you got people that you should just stream your end screen and then that's just people just watch that because you might pop back. <laughs> One of the things Michael and I were talking about was like, we should just end it and then like you know bait people and then end it and then come back like an hour and a half later <laughs> yeah i said we should do one where we stream like Why? we stream Why? one night <laughs> we stream one night Jimmy, we stream no, one it. night because it's funny we stream one night <laughs> we do a little <laughs> bit we end the stream and then we come back 30 minutes later but don't act like we're back just go Hey, what's up? We're gonna be streaming some Fall Guys tonight, and we just do like it's a whole other stream, and we just we just turned it off for forty minutes or so, so no one knows it's happening. Look, and then I kept look. I kept saying to Alfredo, I go, "We got him." I was like, "Hey, you lost sixty percent of your viewers. We win." <laughs> but that was the thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm telling you right now, that is. I would probably say the worst thing you can do as a streamer. Pro the probably the worst thing in the world is just to keep correct. <laughs> killing your momentum so every time i did it, it kept losing hundreds and hundreds of people but oh it's so good it's so funny it so, that's, that's the thing. what makes like, it so funny though that's yeah. so funny about it we're just like it's, this is just i don't care right like yeah, I, if, I want this if you're joke. okay with the hit it's only it's only hurting you <laughs> right <it's true. laughs> you know what I mean? like, that's why you win outs, like the oh, smallest God. amount of time that you're not on yeah. there it, it costs so much it's insane yeah. like uh, I was streaming, I think it was Phasmophobia one time. And there was like 
every now and again there's you know you've had this fredo every now and again there's like the, these one streams where a ton of people show up like out of nowhere it's just like oh there's a lot of people here for this one i, I don't know why but sure but like i was playing phasophobia it was you know it was like three thousand people or something and i was, was like that when uh, you met me and john well, it might have been yeah because you kept getting kicked and, yes yeah that was that one so yeah. during that my internet blinked out um like my internet blinked out one time i kept like kind of going down a little bit like i'd see the frames drop a little bit but then they come back and then at one point it just went out entirely and um it was only for like a couple of seconds and i you know just had to turn like turn off the stream turn it back on all that is is just if you're watching the stream you just hit refresh like after a minute and it's back and it's mm -hmm. me going oh, i'll jump back in the game blah 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 i went from 3,000 people to about 1,400 in that like less than a minute. It was just like, and, and like they barely came back. They came back like maybe up to about 2,000 or so, but it was just all gone. And it's just like that consistency is fucking brutal. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I can't imagine just going, all right, see ya. And like, <laughs> and yeah. it's and then actually imagine, over. Imagine doing it five brutal. times in it's an so hour and a half. Brutal. Like it's such an insane thing to do. <laughs> Dude, I love just it. Kept doing it. <laughs> and it would just be like the like the stream ending screen, and it'd be like after a minute, you just hear Michael and I just like, "Do you think there's anyone still here?" <laughs> I, was like, I was just like, "Nah, they're gone, dude." Oh, they've got to be gone. And then I just, like turned it back on. I was like, all right, so here we go. Another final. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. So we're really cool. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for tuning in to Off Topic. Whoa. <laughs> right as Trevor said thanks, the first bell went off. I'm fast. That was, you said it before the bell went off. How did you Listen. know? Did you get a heads up? Listen, it is. Sometimes I am the bell. messaging you. It is thank you time. It's thank you first members time. That was the first bell you've heard. And uh, would like to take a little a little moment out of off topic to thank all of our first members supporting at roosterteeth.com. Uh, we appreciate it, you know? Thanks. We get to do shows like this and bigger shows, and we live stream it now. And, um, you know, RTTV has been free to the public uh, since essentially since the the stay at home started back in March, uh, which it's always been a like first exclusive. And but we're able to do that and continue making this show live and available live to everybody and also continue to keep developing new shows uh, because of first members, we wouldn't be able to make shows like the new Dead Little Roosters, uh, which just wrapped uh, principal photography is what they call it, because then if you film mm -hmm. more after that, that's those are called pickups. Um, but we wouldn't be able to do stuff like that without first members. So this is just a nice little, you know, I, it's not, I say it's nice, you know, I'm talking about myself. I'm being very nice right now. We, as a whole off topic, we're being very nice to you because you're nice. So it's like a little nice off. Um, and if you're not a first member, you can check out free trials, lots of shows, um, you get discounts in the store, you get early access to videos, like before they go public or they go on YouTube and, uh, just wanted to say, you know, thanks. Thanks a lot. And this is a good moment to pivot in to talk about Extra Life, hey um, which I've Jack's not here to talk about it, <clears throat> but I do have some details written down here. Um, the community Extra Life. So if you're unfamiliar, you know, usually we do like uh, the community does their own Extra Life the week before, and then we do the big 24 hour stream at the studio. Obviously, we can't do that this year. It's, you know, there's. 80 people in the building, you know, uh, it's just like massive amounts of people crammed into one spot and we're not able to do that. Um, so extra life's a little different this year, but we are still doing it. Uh, the community extra life is, uh, this Saturday, which is the seventh, um, which could be right now. If you're watching this, like, Oh, look off topic. It's Saturday, the seventh. Uh, whoa. Uh, from 10 AM to 10 PM. Um, and then next week, following week uh that starting on the 9th is extra life week we're gonna be doing special streams all week long there's gonna be tons of like extra special life themed stuff and we're just gonna be building up and gearing up uh towards uh the what we're gonna do in place of like the 24 hour uh stream which starts on the 13th we start the solo stream portion of extra life uh that's going to 10 a.m on the 14th and then 10 a.m. on the 14th, we start the main show. So there's there's a lead up. 
there's like a streams all week and then a, like a stream lead up to the main super extra live stream on uh the 14th which i believe is saturday it's always on a saturday um and that's going until 10 p.m so it's going to be the the main extra live show will be 12 hours on saturday saturday the 14th uh but kicks off this weekend with the community's uh extra live streams and then all next week special extra life themed shows and just gearing up for the big thing at the end and they uh they've got new extra life um merch posters blankets and shirts for sale and all the proceeds are going to go to the uh, donation total uh from rooster teeth to extra life the posters this uh there's i believe there's four variants Dusk. of the poster Dusk. and Dusk. it's the um night it's a poster of the paintball wall that's Dark been seen night. on extra life. oh shit i haven't and seen so, that one yet well so oh. as far as i'm aware there are four posters and i think I think they're all print on demand. Well, three of them are print on demand, so they won't run out. But the fourth one, uh, which the glow you know, in the dark there might one. be glow in the dark, that one mm -hmm. will be limited. There will be a limited supply of that yes. one. But I believe all the other merchandise will be um, like made to order, so they won't run out, which is always an issue at Extra Life. Uh, and again, so all the proceeds um, that will be made uh, on the Extra Life merch will go directly to Extra Life. And so I hope you show up for that. We got some stuff planned. Gavin and I are going to do a thing. Of course, it's not planned, but that's what we do every year. Um, these are COVID times, so it's going to be a lot of, I mean, it's always streamed. It's a stream, but there'll be a lot of like stuff from home. I There will be some studio elements, you know, because it's a very, like in a very small scale. I don't have the full schedule. I don't know what Jack's. I don't know what he's like going to tease or show off, um, but it should be great. And hopefully people show up and, you know, support the uh, support the show. Hashtag for the kids. So extra life oh, those, here. Kid. For the kids. Yeah. For the, uh, for the kids. And then a bunch of noises. Doing, yeah, I think I'm doing like a solo <clears throat> stream just... thing. Uh, there's going to be a few of those where like it would just be like I one believe. person like playing a game, streaming, stuff like that. But I think mine is at like Two or three a.m. Eastern. There's gonna time? be Damn, a lot more. Gamer uh, hours. There's gonna be a lot more yeah. gameplay because you know usually everybody just gets in the office and it's like, I'm gonna knock you over. I'm gonna you know Chad shows up and he's like, who wants to blast their balls on this this you know tiger what, bomb? What the, what the hell was no not oh, tiger the, bomb the, the, the horse the pommel horse the pommel horse the pommel horse. horse the pommel That's horse it. yeah he's like who I've wants to that. get can't Two really times. do a lot of that stuff um so there will be a lot more of a you know gameplay element to it but there is stuff uh planned. A and pommel horse God, is a gymnastic. I'm not the guy thing, to planning it. So I, I understand. Okay, well, I don't know what. Why do they use that? Why are they blasting balls in gymnastics? Well, the horse is the name <laughs> of the actual long object. When you, I don't know if you know what a pommel horse looks like in gymnastics. Did they like, actually used to use real horses? I don't believe so. <laughs> Did they, did they, they backflip up onto a horse? But uh, and pommels are what you call the handles. The handles are called the pommels. So oh, you know, pommel. it's just like. Yeah, so then it's oh, like the pommels pommel. on top. Well, they call theirs the pommel horse, I think. But pommel horse they is pommel what they call gymnastics. Okay. Yeah, because uh, they pommel your balls. Pommels upward. Yep, and it'll you snap pommel. you right in the balls and vag. Where you kind of do the, you go around with the. Mm -hmm. Dude, that has a very, handles. that move has a super <gasps> technical name, actually. Go ahead. Horse. It's called circles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you're like Not going a circle. like you would expect. It smelled exactly oh. how you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> Those yes, are circles, so, uh, and they're fucking so hard to do. Who did you talk to this morning? Who'd you talk to? I talked to Jeff. Woo, yeah. Jeffrey! Yeah. yeah! The, um, I'm helping that man build a computer. Nice. Yeah. You're not it's... building it for him? Well, the thing is, he wants the new AMD CPU that just dropped today. So uh -huh. you're only really going to be able to get that unless it's during a, a it's a pre-built. So, I mean, I, I gladly would have built his oh. computer, but okay. buy it, dismantle was, it, and then mm -hmm. come in as yeah. the hero. There you go. Damn. And then I have all these parts. <laughs> yeah. Or you could buy pre-built computers like this loser did. Mm -hmm. And so I bought those a while ago, new gaming PCs for me and for Kat uh like at the end of september or so Ooh. and they're and they're like all right they'll be shipped Next out June. they're gonna get there like early november and mine had like a 3080 in it and everything i was like fuck yeah okay i'm ready for this 
Um, so today, Kat was like, hey, where's those PCs? Like, when are they being delivered? And because the oh, original no. shipping was like 1030, like, like October 30th or something. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Like, let me check the order. So I'm looking at the order and I notice that like it says something in the order. Like when I actually just pull up the order, it's like, yeah, order is like, you know, it's here. It's going. This is this is what you ordered. I um pull up an email I have and it's like it just says order status. Like that's the subject of the email. And when I scroll through it, it's like. Hey, here's when the expected shipping date is. Here's what's in it. Here's how much you paid. Here's the blah, 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 and all the stuff mm -hmm. like that. If you scroll <laughs> down far enough in the email, there was a notes section. Uh -oh. And it's like, hey, you're shipping these PCs to a zip code that's different than where your credit card is. Mm. Uh, the billing address on your credit card. Because uh, the billing address is in Texas, whereas I'm shipping it here. So um, then, and it's like, like you got to make sure that you send this like like a photo ID or something like send us something by this day or we cancel the order. Oh, and it's like a ways <gasps> down in this email. And I was like, what the hell? Like, so I, I was like, OK, so I called them and I'm like, hey, like, here's here's my order number. What's going on? He's like, oh, yeah, that order has been canceled. Oh. Like, you didn't get to us. It's been canceled. I was like, oh, man. Fuck, no. really? I'm like, can I just, like, reopen no. it? Like, it was, like, who can asked I for it? that, though? Yeah, and he's like, he's like, no, you have to, stink bug there. He's like, no, you have oh. to, um, you gotta go. I was like, do I have to build them again, or can I just, like, resubmit the orders? Like, nah, you gotta go make them again. You gotta pick all the parts and, like, oh, and you know, and all that. No. I was like, stop, oh, Jesus. Oh, hell. Fuck, and so, I went and I built them all again and Whoa. picked all the parts. The only good thing is they were having some new discounts. So for like the same price as when I first ordered them, Kat ha had a 2070 in her computer. And now she'll have a 3070 nice. um, yep, for like yep, the same yeah. price. And I'm like, all released. right, hell Wait, yeah. When did you order these? Uh, I ordered these originally like the end of September. And now I just ordered these today. So mine is so a 3080 and they're oh. not going to get here until early December. What CPU oh, yeah. did you get? I don't know. Why? No, Jeremy. what's wrong? Fredo, no, don't <laughs> ruin it. Just release their new CPUs and they're fine. Amazing. I don't really care. I don't okay. really care. All right. <laughs> Wait, don't worry. Back to Jeremy <laughs> with the beer in his hand. He was like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I, like, I don't <laughs> give a shit. Does it game? Does it? Can I click? Okay. Can Can you have an yeah, exactly. NVIDIA card yeah. with an AMD processor now, or is there still like a an issue with the? Oh, you, you can have you, you could have AMD with a you know NVIDIA card or whatnot, but now AMD is also doing. Because they're the only manner, like company that makes CPUs and GPUs. So now mm -hmm. for the first time, they're actually utilizing it. Or if you have them, they work in tandem with each other and it boosts right. itself even more. AMD is the new king. That's just the underdog has I'm an taken Intel guy, over. but AMD is the king. So I'm, yeah, I'm building Jackie an AMD build and I'm building uh, Jeff an AMD build. Nice. Oh. When does it is so I'm sure they're off cycle. AMD drops their graphics cards on an annual basis, maybe like springtime. Is that what we can expect? Uh that's just gonna turn be, into like a news uh, within within sometime within this month, AMD's card's supposed to drop. They already announced them. Mm. Um Intel is gonna drop their CP. They're gonna announce their CPUs in January. It'll drop sometime in the spring. Those are gonna be most likely terrible, but I, I'm waiting until that announcement comes out so I can go, okay, I'm going to go Team Red like this time around. Like, just in case Intel has any surprises, which they won't, they've dropped the ball. Um, but I will shoot myself in the foot if I'm just like, all right, I'll buy AMD and Intel's like, bam, we're stepping our game up. And I'll be like, damn it. Yeah, I'm more of an Intel integrated graphics kind of guy. <sighs> I like to play the... Um, the chess mm -hmm. game that comes with with the yep. system and i mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. went back and got a rom so i could play the old pinballs game that we're all familiar with oh yeah nice, so nice. yes yeah, so i'm sitting pretty sitting you know, pretty with the, nice. my frames there give give. You know? give give yeah so i'm just waiting on an uh on an amd chip and then i'll put that for jackie and then i have this 3080 that i picked up so I'll grab this guy. Oh, now, can sexy. You, grab you this guy. I'll put that in her. And then I'm looking for one for Michael right now. It is 3D print a new one. Well, no, you, you were just, just like, holding it. Scan it and. Well, hold on. I saw you just had mine. Where's yours? That's... This one isn't even mine. This is going to Jackie. Where'd yours go? What? 
That sucks. I thought what? I thought you had a 3080. Who's going to install mine? I wanted you to be familiar with it before you touched it. <laughs> There's no being familiar with it. It's the most you plug it in and you Whoa. update the drivers. Slow slow down. <laughs> hey, <that's... laughs> too many, too many. You're using a lot of technical terms. Okay. Oh, you got to plug it in? Are you drinking right? out a solo cup? What do you got? Yeah, it's partying, man. I got nothing in it. You look water. like you're in a frat house. There's no furniture. Yeah, there's dude. concrete floors. You got solo cups everywhere. What the hell is going buy, on? I, I buy it's solo the cups. The one expensive thing, the one thing in the room is the most, is, is a nice Super graphics expensive. card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, that's why his room's empty. Because he bought the graphics card. Yeah, I, I bought this graphic card. Man, think um, of all the reverb that thing's going to absorb, though. I Well, here's what you do. <laughs> think about this, though. There's packaging. If you open the box and then you spread it out, even oh, just behind scatter you, it. Um, I'm not going to lie. We some have booklets in there. We have one rug, and it's the, the one that we had in the living room. Uh, it's currently in the living room. I'm contemplating grabbing it, just to, it, lifting the couch, moving it off, grabbing that, and just stuffing that in the fucking place just so I can get less echo. Yeah, because my rug is going to be like two to four weeks. What you're saying has yeah, weight yeah. though right now. People are you people can go, listening. you can go. I I know it's like a cost, but you can go to like Home Depot or or Lowe's or whatever, and you can either get one of their rugs there, just like temporary, just find something nice and cheap to to do some of the absorption, mm-hmm. or like I did when I was in uh, college. I, th- I think it was cheaper at the time. I just had them roll out carpet that you would install into a house. I just had them roll that out. It had the, yeah. the matting already on it, so it was already cushy. Had them mm-hmm. roll that out and cut off a certain section just and threw that in my dorm room. And, like, it was relatively cheap. Oh, so if it, it'll get you through the, the month. That's really smart for a dorm. Or just, like, yeah. you don't want anything, like, expensive. Just, yeah, you just put it in, <laughs> chop it up, and done. Yeah, just shit on it. Yeah. No, no poop. Oh. I need to I need to talk okay. to you then because you you've got your your eyes on the on the timeline for everything coming out because I I I'm in need of a an update I've got my 970 system a four a four a 4790k mm. for an i7 so it's like it's it's she's pretty dusty I could use an upgrade but I also <laughs> don't want to like buy something and then just like what might happen here is like nope. a new Now's generation comes out a month later or like, you'd be like jeremy sip on that beer and not give a fuck it's true listen uh, here's the, the way to live some- i bought a game and the game that's is true in front of me please <laughs> you, you buy something new there's always gonna be a new thing coming out you gotta you gotta you gotta dive in at something and that's why i thing, never buy when, <laughs> but when the new thing is the same day of the thing that you bought well, we don't know that. I just know Alfredo months ago. I remember a small, tiny boy, Michael, listening to Alfredo tell him a tale mm-hmm. about these 3080s and how we're going to get them. And then they came out, and I don't know where they are. Look, I don't see it. I, I got saw. one with me. <laughs> I'll use that same connection to get another one. We'll be there, fine. There it is. There it is. He's got a the connect- there, like a, the, the connection full is, of thirty eight. The connection is Best Buy. No, it just, isn't. Just like ref- <laughs> refresh. <laughs> refresh. I gotta get a um I mean I don't got to, but I want. Um PS five comes out next it's week. Like I mean so, so, does yeah. X, so does Xbox. I mean Xbox. I never X ordered a PS5. PS5. I really should. Oh, I couldn't get one. I wanted I one. The, I, oh, yeah. I I I got I the Xbox and then we got lucky cuz we all um got sent Xbox Series X. Xbox so likes cool. us. Mm-hmm. PlayStation doesn't know we exist. And I get that. That's it. That's I get that's that. totally Jeez. fine. Uh, yeah, right. I think I th- <laughs> Hey, here's the thing about PlayStation. I think they'd like us if they got to know us. Right. PlayStation um, don't play Fall Guys. Never mind. I'm not going to get into baby. it. I get sent a lot of controllers from Microsoft. I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. PlayStation, you, you get, hang out over there. It's okay. I'll buy don't one. play Fall Guys <laughs> with me. I would just be happy if PlayStation sent me a link so I could buy a PS5 because I'd like to own one. Um, and they're not doing um, they're not doing any retail, like in-store sales on launch day. It's online only because they don't want mm. people. Like, what are they launching and, with? Spider-Man? I don't know. Is Morales coming out? Morales is like launch. four days away or something. launch title. That Demon Souls? Yep. No, thank yeah. you. Dude, do you see that? I'm um, not a Demon Souls person. Uh, I'm a Spider-Man guy. I'll play that. Spider-Man, yeah, no, that's Spider-Man a launch Spider-Man Miles title. Morales? They're, they have the um, um, Spider-Verse Al-Hal? suit. Yeah, the, the um, Spider-Verse suit. The Spider-Man animated oh, and movie. It's like, it's like crazy animation. To the Spider-Verse. The it, looks yes, so good. It, it lowers Wild. its frame rate, I think, right? Yeah. So like it drops it, the frame rate of your character like because, the, the movie. 
when I was watching, uh, and I've been watching a lot more of them now because I keep trying to find videos I can put on that are like, this will distract me for 10 minutes before I go and refresh the holes again. Um, and so I've been watching a lot of Corridor Digital's videos again where they Number react 12. to the, the CGI and mm -hmm. re like react to all that stuff. And um, one of the things they were talking about was Into the Spider-Verse. And one of the coolest things that I thought they talked about was, um, you know, wh whatever the frame rate was of the film, um, if it was like 24, or, you know, frames per second or whatever it was. Um, Peter Parker, when he's teaching Miles Morales how to be Spider-Man, runs at that frame rate. Miles runs at half that frame rate. So it makes Ooh. Peter Parker look like everything he's doing is smoother and more refined, whereas Miles Morales, like, you know, has that extra frame. So mm -hmm. he looks like he's a little more janky with it. And by the end of the movie, he's up to that same frame rate. That's so when cool. He's doing so. It's like that little, so little cool. bit is so awesome. That's such a I cool love attention little, to detail. little tidbit in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Trevor, when you're ready, come talk to me. When you're ready. I'll come yeah, to, the, I'll no, come to the, the, the Gospel of Alfredo. Well, that's, well yeah. The cathedral, you're already there. He's got the mic for it. When you're ready. When you're Talk ready, my, me, yes. my, my child, son. when you are ready, come visit me. <laughs> I've got two commandments. <laughs> oh, and it's the same. Go fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> just, and, <laughs> just cut it in half. <laughs> Go fast and guess the second one. <laughs> it's like when you're writing a paper and you just need to fill out the, uh, the, the page minimum. Yeah. Or the word minimum. And so, it is here that I duly proceed with as I'm, I'm duly I'm stretching out the paper not that duly sorry that's good to oh, add more words there you go mm -hmm. not that duly but duly still yes right then I, I transition off in the middle of the paper explaining who the duly is that i'm not talking about that's very uh tolkien is it tolkien there's a writer who basically okay. um shit i gotta think about it without speaking but there's a writer who essentially does that where they'll, they're, they're telling the story and it's a very succinct story, but every time they get to a piece of lore, they they veer off and they start telling the backstory of that whole coin and how it's on that table. And now that you know that, they continue on with the story. I don't remember who it was. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. This is where if I had read a book in my life, I would name an author. <laughs> right? This is like, if that were a movie, I would have said something funny that wasn't what you were talking about, but I was just drawn blanks. Just do what I do. Um, Say like a book quote. And people yeah. are like, nah, he reads books. No, That's be, what I do with movies. Know, it it yeah. would just be like, oh, was that, you know... Oh, Agatha Christie? Ag Agatha Christie? That was close. Ag Agatha Ag Ag Christie? <laughs> I got it. I got it. It was an effort. It, that's why I didn't do it though, right? I mm -hmm. I was it's like a name I heard people Jeff read those books. Right. He said that name a lot. Agus Agatha Ag, Ag what is it? That's then you know. Agatha, that's why Agatha. when Trevor said that it was dead silence because none getting, of us uh, could make a joke about it. Well, here comes the chat now to the rescue. The only problem is because of the delay, but the only problem is everybody's saying a different author. <laughs> okay. But Tolkien that's is definitely another one of thing. them. That's another thing I've noticed um, with, with, with streaming and when you're looking at the chat or something, you're playing the game and you ask mm -hmm. a question or you just pitch out the thing of like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, it, because, you know, you get to that point where in some games you would stop and look up a guide and be like, mm -hmm. if I don't do this, like, can I never come back to it? Or like, <laughs> like certain things like that in games. And you're like, Man, if I like if I leave right now and don't do this thing, can I come back and do this? And like you'll look at the chat and it'll be like, Yeah, you can come back and do it. No, this is your last chance. No, you gotta do it right now. Yeah, you can come back whenever you want. Yep. Only at the favorite. end of the game, you gotta do it right now, but you can do half of it and leave. You gotta do and it's like and but none of it is but like there's a, the people that are like, I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, why no. say anything? It's also <laughs> right. people, it's also because it's at, like, at that oh. instance, there's no fact checking right they, yeah. it's just like maybe it's people just making it up but it's mostly people who think they know the answer but they exactly don't, you know they don't and put a question mark on it or they don't put like i think blah 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 it's very yeah. easy to do that um because the person just kind of takes your advice or doesn't that's when i like to dive in and single out someone that said something that i know is wrong and then i attack them 
Oh, I do the same thing. I go right off. I go, oh, hang on. This? That's wrong. Because it's like one in a million. I know what this person said, and I know it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, I I introduce a little bit of uh, accountability in your comment. You know what I mean? Listen. Exactly. You can you can just not say it. You can it's fine. But like, watch out. You Don't did just it. start That's spouting. That's what I say. When I you're see a, split like that. You're a fucking idiot. This is what you have to do. <laughs> oh, no, I think not. Oh, yeah. hang on. Wrong. Let's stop everything. Let me bring that. Let me put this comment on a pedestal and then destroy you over it. Pretty much. Then you'll learn maybe. And like because like <laughs> when it's split like 50-50. Trial by fire. When it when it's split 50-50, I usually either go, "Okay, I'm going to like, you know, do one of them and we'll see, or I'm going to look it up. And, but, and then I go, but when that's done, I want you to know that half of you are filthy liars. Like half of you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I want that brought to light. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. like, I want you to write in the chat. I didn't know what I was talking about. Like, it's just, <laughs> I'm like I just want learn? people. I just said, you learn? learn, learn. Don't just say things. It's important. You brought up Jeff. This is a departure from that topic. And I do think it was George R.R. Martin I was thinking about. Uh, But you brought up Mm. Jeff earlier, Mm -hmm. uh, Fredo. And I I texted you this the other day. I don't know if you still watch reality shows like Love Island or Bachelor or whatever. Yes. And I was going to text you back. Yeah, go for it. Are you watching this season of Bachelorette? No, but me not watching it does not mean that I don't know about it because yeah i learned it from jackie because i would watch oh, it but jackie's okay. like i'm already watching it and i'm like what the, what, what okay so tell me about it i, Dude, I miss <clears throat> i miss not having uh spilled the reality obviously yeah. we've spit off spun yeah. off uh, a bunch of what other podcasts what was spitting. the island show i mean they're all I- island love shows. island i have hiccups was it love island oh bachelor in paradise actually- bachelor in paradise mm. bachelor was- in paradise. what a mess of those but- shows are but they're so good it's a mess, and I and I live for it because you indulge in someone else's drama, and then you go, "My mm-hmm. hands are clean," and then you go off about your life, you know. But this season in particular, I was texting Jeff. I was like, "You dude, you've got to watch this. You got to get in on this because it's, it's like it's oh, it's, it's so wild. messed up. There's yeah. a lot of like asshole contestants, like as usual. But then like the the I, I guess the Bachelorette, um, Claire." is like there's some drama going on where apparently like she came in already having seen one of these guys and from like f- the episode one she met she met this one dude in particular right and she's like D- dale i think she's like i feel That's like I, she was being really dramatic very yeah. like uh theatrical she's like i feel like i just met my husband and her heart was all a flutter and then for the rest of the next three episodes it's just all about dale she mm-hmm. like doesn't give a shit about anybody else and it's just like it's so it's cringy and it's awkward and it's like yeah because all these other guys are like what about us yeah because like that's the whole show but i'm just living for i'm just living dude mm. oh yeah Yeah, all about it and it's it's crazy and it's over top but the thing is that she also tells me about like because she researches she looks into this and all that kind of stuff apparently when these shows happen right it's like, okay, you're going to be on this show, turn in your mm-hmm. phone, you can't do social media, all that kind of stuff. Like, they'll let you know who you're going to see. You turn in your phone, you start shooting the show. She knew the people that she was going to be on the show with. And then the COVID stuff happened. Mm-hmm. And there was this long period of time where she knew the people that she was going to see, knew their social media, and then kind of just had the information and sat with, I have hiccups, sorry. It's had the information and just sat with it. And so a lot of the, the, like the rumors and stuff is like, she was talking to some of them or more specifically this guy. (laughs) I love it. I love the hiccups. And then, um, (laughs) and, um, and yeah, so she already, so once I started back resuming filming the show, she already knew the guy and knew about him and already built this connection, which is just kind of like, oh, you jumped the gun here. Yeah, it's it's really awkward how the whole thing like there's a lot of variables in there. I don't want to like blame any party in particular because like obviously these individuals are just trying to find people to be with and some people might just want to be trying to get like attention like because a lot of these people end up being influencers after the fact. So there's a lot of different MOs, a lot of different motives in here. But I uh, 
I went in onto her Instagram because I'm like, I don't have live TV. So I think the episode is airing today. So I'll have to see it tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? On like Hulu or something? Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I'm just going to, I need my fix because it's like, it's this particular episode is delayed because this is the one where she quote blows up the bachelorette. So I'm like scrolling through her Instagram to see if there's any like clues as far back as I think it was like March. She's like, yeah, we discontinued filming. Uh, but like they basically addressed this drama like months ago. So I don't know. It's weird. It's definitely a very unique season. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, it's really interesting to see how they they still make it work and they're still able to make like content out of it, because uh, ultimately that's the uh, that the whole point of the show is uh, is to be content. But uh, it's it's really interesting how how they're making the most out of it and trying to still like still try to be a matchmaker mm-hmm. show. And I think then they teased also like having a totally different bachelorette for the rest of the season. It's it's going to be nuts. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, right. I'm so excited. is that like public thing? Because Jagger's like the big rumors that there's going to be the patch where it's going to depart like halfway through and then a new one's going to come in or something like that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. forget her name, but she was on Bachelor in Paradise. She was, she was, uh, you know, actually, you would know her. You'd recognize her. You know, because she was with uh, John Paul Jones. That was like the couple. Oh, she was her. With. Yeah. I don't remember her name. I think it's something Tyler. Taylor, I don't know, but yeah, at the uh, at the end of the next week on Bachelorette, she like uh, all this drama happens, and then like fade to black, come back, pool shot, sun. Blah, she, she comes up out of the water, dripping wet, and you're like, "Whoa, what is she doing here?" Must be a new Bachelorette. Oh, who's to say? Yeah, I mean, she's probably just like, "Look, I already talked to the guy. I'm sorry, we were the pandemic hit, and I had nothing to do. Chatted up with the guys, so, so they're like, I mean, that's right, fair. Well, I want that's that fair. guy. I didn't know me. about that stuff. I thought I was just taking it at face value. I was like, this is disrespectful AF. Yeah, Tasha, yeah. thank you, chat. Uh, but yeah, and they yeah, like know um, each other already by the time they're in the show. Yeah. So they got to know each other. And then, so there's all this like drama, like all the guys have turned against Dale. Like there's a whole episode <laughs> where you, they Dale, have to fuck do, you. Yeah. They have to do like a, uh, like a, uh, what are they, what, uh, what is it called? The stand up where they all like trash on people. That's a roast. Yeah. That's what it is. They all have to do a roast when they for just trash like on each, people. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I got it. Jeremy, I uh, was silently waiting until I was needed. Oh, people insulting someone. That's, Boom, here I am. That's when I jump. I'm here sitting back when a quote from a movie that I haven't seen is needed. Here's looking at you, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, like, it's, 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 juicy, it's interesting. Man. It's, it's very wild. juicy. Succulent season. This is good stuff. But it's, it's, yeah, it's just weird. I mean, that's the kind of thing, right? When the pandemic is just like production stopped, and sometimes mm-hmm. like a production like this, it's just kind of like you're in the middle of like, you send her the candidates and go, hey, we're going to film like next week and then we're going to take your phone and social media stuff. And then pandemic and then hits, that right? doesn't happen. And Dale mm-hmm. was like lubing up and like, I'm going to slide right in. And up. Yeah. He full body dives <laughs> right that's, in. That's the third uh, 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 commandment. Commandment. There it is. I was, yep. I was looking for that word. Always lube up. <laughs> Always be lubing. Dude, they'd be, uh, they'd be uh, uh, what happened to lube guy? We don't know. Yeah. The sewers. They all slipped right down. I mean, lube guy. Like, lube slipped guy. Right down in lube there. guy slipped in the sewers. Never <laughs> heard from him again. <laughs> there's going to be a fucking <laughs> moment, be dude. A spinoff show called Lube Man. Oh, we, the, we and it's going to start with the, 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 the great. We're talking the about series uh, ended. The credits Watchmen were rolling. I was on like, HBO. man. Yeah, Watchmen. I was like, man, that was mm. so good. It's like they tied up every loose end. Wait. Who was Lube Guy? <laughs> I'm going to Google that right now. Who was Lube Man? Woo! Trevor, was it Lube was the, Man um, a character you and I did all the time? It was the yeah. fucking, it was the white guy that was like the assistant. Uh, Dale PD. He was obsessed with fog dancers and heroes. He had the oil, the skinny frame. He was Lube Man, American hero. Who wrote this? Forbes? <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. I know there was a man. He was chased. He lubed himself and he slid you know, into a sewer. I I saw that scene. I did see that scene. He's as like, well. yeah. So imagine Dumped that on. happened. Think, happened was it the Jeremy? Were you the one I showed you? And yeah, then the you show showed ended, me that. Yeah. And they, nothing ever happened after that. They never there called after that is. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. And see, in the side pouches, those are bottles of lube. 
Yeah, dude, he just he's running. Himself. He's running. Uh, he squirts himself down and he just, just slides he's feet slides first, not head first. Feet, feet first, first, right into a nice. sewer grate. He's, disappears. He's like a bug. He's gone. He's like a stink bug. He just and that was one of those things out of there. that were like it randomly fucking happened. Cause she was like investigate the main character investigating, just turns around, I was like, hey, who are you? And like chases him, he moves up, slides through. <laughs> yeah, and I sat there and I went, TF. that's fucking weird. But we'll learn about that later and we didn't we did i'm gonna earmark this moment we did never came back um, yeah jeremy and you, we we had a lube man character as part of stream team this was uh, ancient tales these days but yeah there was a point in time where we were driving somewhere you and i i don't know if we were i don't know where we were going we were right. going from the office we stopped at a gas station then we went somewhere else that's all my memory has and we were i was like what what kind of weird superheroes could they come up with like what if there was like lube man and everything he does is like like I'm gonna go right. zip. Like, I'm gonna unha- unhinge some Velcro. Like, like everything you did, regardless top, of the it's, material, it's... was wet and lubed. Right. Uh, <laughs> so constantly, Trevor and I would just walk into the office uh, and see the other person there and be like, "Uh, you know, I had a good time getting ready for work this morning." You know. Oh, your your sound is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, like I'll, it I'll blanks it. Like, 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 probably doesn't allow for it, but uh, you, you, somebody will edit it in. They'll yeah. edit in the sounds. <laughs> I would turn my gate off right now, but I feel like that's a bad idea. I don't know. Like you a light like, switch would be like a. Yeah. You do you know? hear it? Do you hear it if I go? Did that come through? No. I heard you start. Nah. It. I heard you start it. <laughs> yeah. Just if you for those at, uh, at home who want to you listen, do it, Trevor. Come through when you do it. Just go. Yeah, you know, just do something like that. Or... <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, oh, there it is. And that's, as it, that's as he's putting on gloves. I got and as he's cheeks. brushing his teeth and combing his I hair. Got the cheeks for it. Right. Yeah. And it was always like distinct sounds too, like biting into like uh, a cracker. You know, it's just <laughs> things that it doesn't belong on. That was that was loop man <laughs> for us. All the oh. things needed those noises. And they put him in Watchmen. Yeah, yeah he so made hey, it. wow, we he made it. We've done our part. We've changed society. We've changed the world for the better. <laughs> uh, and asked a couple questions along the way too. You raised like, many. Who the questions. hell was that guy? <laughs> yeah. Um, I just started watching the other day. I saw there's a new show on Netflix called Blood of Zeus. Mm, dude, and that shit looks awesome. Um, it's the it's made. Um, produced i assume they must animate it by the um same studio uh that does castlevania powerhouse that's what i thought oh, nice. yeah it look you look at it and i and i said go, to Lindsay, yeah. and i was like this looks like castlevania and she's like yeah the powerhouse studios i said I that's like, oh, okay um it's good it's uh, it's only like eight episodes so it's off to a better start than castlevania because castlevania was really good but they came out and there was like four episodes and like i eh, see in 16 months or whatever yeah. it was between season <laughs> one and two and, and you're like oh so this one's at least eight episodes it's good. It's just like a classic, you know, uh, like Greek mythology, Zeus, whatever. Um, I think the guy is made up because it seems to imply that just in the trailer and even in the opening of the show. They're just like, you know, all the gods and shit, but you don't know all of them. Here's this one. Is he a demigod? So, is that what's happening? Yeah, it's yeah. It's like a son of Zeus who's like a bastard. An ordinary demigod. What's his name? Um, do you remember? I want to say it's like, is it Seraphim? Heron? No, it's it's Heron, I think, or Heron. Heron. Heron? That's a bird. It might be it might be Heron. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm googling. Because watching the Greek trailer, mythology, watching the trailer, they say his name, and I thought it was Hera, and I was like, that's not right. And I'm pretty sure it's Heron. Um, is Heron it's, a it's real good. Character? Let's see here. Let's it's get, good. Let's get to the bottom of this. Hey, let's, I've watched let's, three or three or four episodes. I watch it at night, so a lot of times I fall asleep, and then I gotta watch it again up to the part that I'm at. But um, I like it. You know what grinds yeah. my like, gears? Like eight episodes. Go for it. I'm gonna watch that tonight. When I when I find a, a a news article that's perfect for this very situation, is Heron a real character from Greek mythology, Blood of Zeus on Netflix? Right? Newsweek. Thank you for the fine article that could have just been a word. Uh, yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, right? There's no obvious answer in here. In fact, I don't even think they answer it. So, uh, <laughs> but you, but you're there. <laughs> <reading. Try. laughs> no, that's I hate that when when someone says like, you know, is this A or B? And then the article goes, 
I'm, the real answer is we just don't, don't know, know yet. We yeah. just don't know. Yet. It's like, why'd you write the article then? That's the way the world is the feeling about is it. Had to, had to do Did you get baited? <laughs> it's like Fredo's out here like all articles are written by him it's so it's gotten to the point where anytime an, a question is asked just a, not a not a this or that question but a yes or no question in a in an article title or whatever i just assume it's a no and i go about my day being informed that way <laughs> it hasn't led me astray yet astray yes uh, <laughs> the tongue comes out. Michael's eyes. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. Hello. I played Project Winter yesterday. What'd you think of it? Was it cold? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I had that feeling as well. So Chilled invited me to play with him and his group. Um, I and I played. Yeah, Chilled did as well, and I need to play that with like a group that is really well versed in it. But continue. Yeah, so I played with with him, you know, a bunch of people. Matt was there and stuff like that. Um, and you know, whenever I I play with Chilled and and people like that, usually after the stream, Chill will send me a message and be like, you know, hey, that was really fun, and and you know, thanks for playing, and we'll get together at whatever point and stuff like that. So he sent me the message at the end of the night after we played Project Winter, and I was like, yeah, thanks, like that was fun. Uh, I'll probably sit out a future Project Winter things because it just was not the game for me. It because like it's similar in practice to playing something like Among Us, right? Mm -hmm. Where you got the group of people or Deceit, you got the group of people, and then you got like two bad guys, and it's got proximity chat, which is cool because that you know in some games that can be really really funny, but it it suffers from. One of the things that, to me, like something like Hunt Showdown suffered from, and there's a few things that I didn't like about it, and this is all personal opinion, but like, like Hunt Showdown, very fun, but it, um, there were lots of times that when you first play it, you get killed by stuff that aren't other players. Like it's a battle royale game, but there's like monsters wandering around and and different things that are out to kill you. Yeah. So like. You know, one of the only times I was a trader in that game, I, I went off to start getting stuff and got killed by wolves. Mm -hmm. And then was, and yep. the thing is, if you die, like, <laughs> early on, it's, rounds can it's be, long. like, 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. And, and, and that's it. You can't talk to, to anybody. You can't, you can right. barely interact with anyone. Like, as a ghost, you can, like, spawn, because you have to, like, eat, you have to stay warm. You can warm. buff people. You can yeah. buff people. Yeah. You can, like, slow people down slightly. Keep and um them. it was just like yeah i think i think when you're brutal. dead there's not much to do and the game really is more of a survival game than it is a deception type game yeah i hear so much about like oh project winter it's like you lie in proximity chat really that's such a small portion of the game compared to like you're running out you're exploring you're trying to fix stuff so you can get out of there the people that are deceivers are trying to stop you, trying to sabotage you. So much of that game is slow. Even if you're not dead, when you're dead, it's slow. So much of that game is so slow because you're just like, I'm going to go fix this. Oh, shit, I got to go eat. Yeah, I'm going to go fix this. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm too cold. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I love the crafting stuff because it's like you get to craft and like right. make things. And, you, you know, there's some like progression. So it's not like Among Us where it's just like you're doing things. Where you're just like, I'm going to do this. And. I win or lose. This is like, oh, I get to craft and I get to kind of progress throughout the actual and evolve throughout the actual round. But so much of it's bogged down by just like survival tactics, right? Like I have yeah. to eat, I have to fucking stay warm, and yeah. And also, the idea a, is there. Oh. It's just sorry, Jeremy. No, that's it's okay, just like it. all. All it is is really to me is very complicated. It's a very big map. There's a lot of like I do like the elements that like the pieces mm -hmm. are there, the concept mm -hmm. is there. You have to work with your team to get resources and craft stuff, and then go out together to fix stuff. But it's 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 probably too complicated, is what it is. Sorry. It's it's yeah. very it's it's in my opinion it's overly complicated. It's overly slow. I'm really not into slow games. The slower game, the more I'm like, eh, I I can't do it. It's too much of a time sink per round and stuff like that. But also like. Yeah. When I was playing it, and this might just be a localized thing, like this might not be something everyone experiences, but the proximity chat 
was very odd. Like it was very odd in terms of like there were times that you can hear other people because they're close enough to you, but they can't hear you. And that happened a lot. Like uh there was one time it, like playing in the same night, uh I like went into a little hut thing with Matt and Matt was a bad guy, so he started trying to kill me. So he's like hit me with an axe and it takes forever to kill somebody cuz like you gotta whack them a bunch until they're down, and then you gotta like hit them for like five minutes while they're on the ground until they eventually die. Yeah, so yeah, that's <laughs> and the whole thing time too. they could be shouting and screaming. And Ow, stuff. you're killing right. me! You're killing so me! I get hit by Matt in this building, and he doesn't manage to down me. So I sprint out of it, and I'm running away from him. And Matt's behind me, going, "Oh, that was supposed to kill you. That was supposed to kill you." And so I'm <laughs> laughing, and then I hear like chilled and Z in the distance, and I'm going. Guys, Matt's killing me. He's ending my life. I need you to help me. Know that Matt's bad. And I'm screaming. None of them heard a word of it. Like, even though I heard them clearly just talking, mm -hmm. they couldn't hear me. Be and then because they, they overcomplicate the mechanic of just like proximity chat. Because when you're playing the game, yep. there's wind traveling throughout the map. Yes. Oh, this is the thing. travels with the wind, which is like, I get that's kind of interesting, but just like, no stop yeah, like you're exactly. doing too much so because That's the wind really was going the wrong way <laughs> like yeah. no one heard me and then like a few rounds later i was a bad guy and i was killing matt with the other bad guy and you know it's taken five minutes of the two of us whacking matt on the ground with axes <laughs> trying to fucking kill him and he's going like oh they're killing me they're killing me and someone who was like really far away was like all right got it i'll tell the others and went off and then so that was it so then we were like you know yeah, it can end so quickly. exiled yeah and it like ex and then it's not like for... yeah and then it's not all oh, the two traders are now dead game over it's the two traders are now dead you two get to now watch them try to escape and mm -hmm. get all the parts they need and go explore this and go explore that and it's like, it just takes so long and i'm like this is such a waste of time and like you know, it's all again, down to personal it's, it's personal preference I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah among us yeah. really dialed it in with that very quick gameplay, hitting those core mm -hmm. mechanics that everyone's looking for. And so we're all like much more geared and ready for that as opposed yeah, I to mean, the, uh, yeah. It, like was uh, Project Winter, granted, Among Us was out a couple years ago, but we mm -hmm. knew about Project Winter for like a year or two years. Cause from my memory, Trevor was like, hey, we should check out this game. It's proximity chat though. We're all in the office and proximity chat is yeah. hard to do when everyone's sitting in the same office. And so, I would think that maybe during that time, that would be a game where just like, oh, cool, this is kind of cool. Like, we get the craft a little bit, and there's some, like, you know, lying type of mechanic to it and whatnot. But now that we've been playing Among Us, we're just like, you could just, you know, kill someone, and then there's an, uh, you know, a reaction and a discussion about it within like a minute or 30 seconds. Like, you get that quick satisfaction. You're firing off, and you're on to the next, and you're moving on, and you're lying, and then you're playing again then you're lying and playing again yeah, and you can right. still do tasks and sabotage yeah. while you're dead yeah. so it's, it's like it's not the most fun but you have something to do when you're dead yeah you know what mm -hmm. i mean and even if like yeah if you fuck up if you murder someone and fuck up the lie and then you're you like shot out it's like okay the round's over cool round's yeah. over on to the next you know, one and then you like, try again yeah like you, you can play you like just five, five rounds of among and... us in the same time as one you know one project winter so it's just like Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not ready to completely mark it off my list, but I was playing yesterday with Meg, and Meg and I were just like, yeah, it's too slow. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just yeah. too slow. But, yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, a new deception it. game would be nice. Yeah, people are saying you want a new deception game. It'd be nice, yeah. Like, Deceit is... I find Deceit fun, but, you know, it's like... That can float between being really fun and being, like, kind of long-winded a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. But even that's still like pretty short from round to round. Like we can get through a mm -hmm. lot of those in like one stream time. And, you know, it, even if someone gets outed right at the beginning, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're screwed. They just have to kind of stay out of your sight for a little bit. Like, you know, yeah. and, and get hide. Some blood. And, yeah, get some blood and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I got bad at that game. Yeah. We did a stream the oh, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We did a stream yeah, the other day. <laughs> and like i think i was the baddie nine times out of ten yeah like i just kept it kept bad. giving it to me and i was like i just want to be human i'm not good at lying i'm not good at this game i just want to be a human <laughs> but it's been a while since we played that one i feel like it's i'm out fun. of practice it's fun to revisit 
Mm -hmm. I would say like every once in a while, we're just like, oh, okay, They're like this is a nice like fresh step away from, you know, like Gmod or something like that. But I think like games like Gmod Among Us really allow us to be chaotic and, and consistently chaotic, which is why it works so well for, for us. G more, more room to kind of like improv and do your thing, mm -hmm. kind of flex in between the, the game rules, which yeah. is fun. To each their own. Well, before we leave, Jeremy, I want to compliment your nice fluffy beard. Very oh, fluffy. It's, it's, looking, it's, it's, it's a little nice. out of control. It's got like hey, hang on. weird dents in places where... Dense. Wait yeah, a minute. But At least I need you can to... get dense. I look like a prepubescent boy who, who, who <laughs> rolled around in his dog's shedded fur with mm -hmm. glue on him when I, tried it, when I grew mine mm -hmm. out earlier this year. It, it starts to catch up when you let it... Like, the, some, there's the baby hairs that like to catch up. Little like baby hairs. Yeah, about... I officially I tweeted about it, but I reached the point because I just fluffed it up now. But I reached the point mm -hmm. last night where my usual routine when I'm laying in bed, like getting ready to go to sleep, is I have my laptop on my chest or like on my stomach, and I'm just like watching <laughs> stuff and typing. Is your like, beard in getting in the way? <laughs> and now, and I see my beard in my peripherals. <laughs> So I'm like looking down and I see it poking out here and it keeps like catching this. Like I keep like, what was Signal. that? Like, oh. yeah, I keep being like, <laughs> what's on me? Like, yeah, I keep having those moments now because it keeps entering my vision now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that might be a problem. <laughs> I mean, you had a whole look going though. You had the camo hoodie. You're, uh, you know, you're, yeah. you're in the cool weather. You got a yeah. nice beard going. It's, you know, it's, it's, I'm the, the with heat it. in here. Um, because the room I'm in was added on to the house later than the rest of the house. Um, so, like, the heat in here is not part of the heat in the rest of the house. Like, I, I can come in here and I can manually turn on oh, this yeah. heat vent and that heat vent. And it mm. just affects this area. It doesn't affect the rest of the house. But, like, I come in here, I turn it on. It has a dial that goes up to six. I turn it on two. And it is, like extremely warm very quickly so like i had the sweatshirt on because this morning it was very cold so i put the sweatshirt on it started to heat up in here and then like halfway through the uh through the podcast i was like i'm dying like, i was like oh my god it's so warm in here so i had to take that thing off um maybe it will get a bit more like that uh like uh, as winter goes on it will be a little harder mm -hmm. to heat this room up but this house actually has three different types of heating units in it because it has like a central heat fancy because uh the people who um were living in this house before me they kept adding things onto it and uh just remodeling and expanding yeah yeah just remodeling and expanding so like the whole yeah. house itself is has like a central heat then this has the little side heaters in here and then there's another room that has like a an actual like fire Oh, like a, a wood stove. burning stove? Yeah, it oh, has like a nice. stove with like a pilot light and stuff. So you like turn on the pilot light and then when you turn up the thermostat, like the flames all come on and it heats Whoa. up the room. And like the whole room, it's the flames come on and then the whole room is the walls are just windows. So you can just like sit in this room during the day and it's got all like, it's got a lot of trees around it, which are all different colors during the fall. So it's like That's a really cool room. fall mm. room. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. I know it. And I'm like, this is, this is the room. We like this room. <laughs> we'll hang out in here. Yeah, that's the one thing I miss is like having more season type seasons, right? Where you have the deciduous trees all changing color and then you get a little spot of snow and then you get the hot summers and all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Texas, it just gets cold and wet. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad it's just at least been a little chilly lately. It's been nice. Yeah, the heat's kicked on. It's comfy. More than, more than usual. Yeah. I, I, sw I sweat my out. ass off all <laughs> I say summer but most of Texas yeah and so I have the AC cranked but like it's it's not just about like a set temperature it's about like the comfort of that temperature right so right. like when it's hot as shit out you want it cold so I make it colder but then when it's cold as shit like I'll make it warmer than i normally have it cold when it's hot you know what i mean like during the summer it's like oh 69 70 is perfect but when it's freezing when it's like 60 give me 72 because it's yeah. like it's like I, I don't know how to explain it but like i find myself cranking the heat higher than i would lower the air conditioner to yes I'm like, yeah but that's because it's cold out and this is like comfort heat 
Exactly. So I'm with you. I'd, mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. But in growing up, I'd always lately. be like, oh, you just put the, the thermostat at my place. It was always like 70. My dad would leave it. He runs cold or runs the house cold. So I was like, oh, yeah, you just leave it at 70 all year. And then it just like you always have that what like room temperature. But no, yeah. in the winter, go up a little bit. You want it up that a little, little touch bit. Of warm. It's like you a little, want cozy, it up a little, little bit. A little hug on because you. Because very the quickly, door opens, though, it's, it's gone. hot as fuck. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. We gotta wrap it up here, dude. Yeah, we do. Um, oh, damn. Four thirty, baby. We're we're let's, right let's at four twenty nine. Um, coming up in like one minute, we got Inside Gaming, uh, and they've got guests from, from Backwards Compatible, and they're playing some Among Us. Oh, hey! Oh, oh, on, on oh we just talked about that game. What a segue! You know, if we cut out the whole heat conversation, it would have led right into <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's uh, that's off topic. Thanks, uh, everybody, for, you know, being on the show today. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. You know, stay tuned for Inside Gaming and Backwards Compatible. Guests, Backwards Gaming, coming up next. Watch out. Thank <laughs> you.